get disappeared. Hold on. What? There we go. A choo choo! Book club, you'll be time to see a choo choo! Hello, stars! Oh, I almost forgot. I gotta mute my phone. Boy, I managed to break just about uh, everything. So, that's great. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I'm uh, late, but I'd also like to say uh, a meal bee is never late. Um, you guys are actually late. Good job breaking things. How dare. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Boko wa miyobita, yoroshichu. Yes, I'm trying to, I'm all helter-skelter because I, I, I friggity fricked up. So embarrassing. Sorry, Mar. It's okay. I forgive you. But today, for those of you who saw it maybe on the schedule but didn't know what I was talking about, today is Protostar Twilight, and it's actually, it's, it's, it's release day, uh, brought to you by the Team Tactical Elysium. I have dropped their link for both the game download for free and their Twitter down below, and I highly suggest you check them out. Uh, it is a strategic role-playing game, a la, like, Fire Emblem. Uh, based around Hollow Stars EN. So all of you who have been subjected to my brain worms for the last year and a, more than a half. Almost two years. <laughs> this, this involves them. I, I wanted to play it on YouTube in particular because I wanted to be able to put the links in the description so everyone will be able to check it out and give kudos and reviews and good stuff. But I'm, I'm very excited. I've been actually on a different account following the development of Protostar Twilight. And it's, it's been very interesting. And I'm, I'm very excited to see what they've cooked up. They played some teasers. Like, they put some teaser videos on their Twitter. And it's, I'm very excited. So, I'm... I, I don't know how to say it. I'm just excited. I'm in a good mood. The sun's out. I got some Wawa, <laughs> and of course I, I, you, you know, I have to, I have to see my Oshi. <laughs> Sun's out, meal's out, very correct and true and valid. And then for those of you who don't know, I will help uh, um, supply you with information, of course, because I know a lot of my stars don't also happen to be Tempura, which are Tempest fans. Um, this was the name used for, like, Hollow Stars EN before then. Also, we have the Armis unit, who is part of Hollow Stars EN, who, they are Armada. And I am a fan of Armis too, but I, I would say just because of the length I've been around, which is since its inception, I count myself as a tempura. That's my tempura on my noggin. <laughs> Eat me with soy sauce! Okay, I'm gonna double check config just to make sure... They recommended playing the music and the sound volume oh, at 100. Oh wait, I don't think you guys can hear the... I'm a pro streamer. <laughs> I say pro like I have like a contract and I make considerable money. <laughs> I just want to check that. What the like buttons are. <laughs> I would show the map grid if it's, um, Fire Emblem. Message speed. We'll do fast. Scroll speed. We'll find out. Map unit window on. Yes. Map unit HP. It's on the map. Okay, put that again as a gauge. A symbol. Affiliation. Um, I guess we'll find out what that is. Should pop up? Yes. Okay. So I will just for the little fan that is. Mouse operation while I'm using buttons, and I'm assuming RPG Maker style, where it's the ZX, which is also how I play Toho. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Alright, uh, so everything in this game um, is 100% fan-made. So the music, the art, and everything is, 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 is fan-made, which I think is just incredible. Like, even the items, they say, too. So I'm very excited. Let's go! Yes! <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna feel a little off my game today. I'm just, I'm clumsy. All right, I, 
I was trying to get everything not broken. And in fact, I wanted to plan more for this, um, this game release. <laughs> but I was just so excited that it was out that I was just like, let's just go! <laughs> but if they make any updates or whatever, I'd like to... I'd like to zhuzh up my presentation a bit more. As you can tell, I put a new background together for the YouTube presentation. I just barely got it functioning last minute. <laughs> I didn't realize how borkin it was. Let's see, for veterans and puzzle solvers, balanced around risky plays and unit losses during battle. No, the recommended difficulty, balanced around a comfortable playthrough. We'll go and do that today. Maybe I'll try a hard mode uh, for a different playthrough. Please be aware that while this project is very loosely based on the lore of Halstead's English, it is purely fan-made and not intended to be considered canonical. Team Tactical Elysium. Yes, very true. Uh, for those of you who don't know uh, or don't follow a lot of Hollow Live or Hollow Stars, um, they tend to be very, at least the Eon branches are very, they have a lot of lore and world building that goes into them. And I think Hollow Stars English in particular is very strong in this aspect. It, it makes it very enjoyable, you know, it makes it very easy to get really involved in a lot of inspiration for fan content. So, yes. Uh, content warning. Oh boy, so here's a warning. Uh, flashing light. Okay, we're going to be careful of that. Uh, violent language. I think we'll be okay. Uh, distressing themes. Body horror. Okay. Claustrophobia. Graphic violence, such as blood. Gore. On their website, it said gore was just written. So I don't believe there's any visuals. Swearing and adult language. Okay, I thought that would count under violent language, but we're good. Mention of self-harm, okay, and death and torture. Jeepers. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should have put an age warning. <laughs> Either way. Let's go! Yes, so these are the warnings. So if anyone... If these are uh, particularly... I'm glad they included it right up front. Um, or if these are... Any particular no-nos for you, uh, go ahead and you can leave the stream. It's okay. I won't be mad. In fact, I encourage it if this will be distressing. Um, I think I'm going to be okay. So. <laughs> this game is best played with control. Aw, oh, man, but I want to use keyboards. Well, we'll see if I... Because... I don't think we need time to think. We received a quest five days ago. Some strange phenomena is happening in a smaller town not too far away. Is this auto or do I click it? I'm gonna click it. As you can for your man. <laughs> He's not my man. <laughs> but he is my Yoshi. There was no name on the request. It was simply signed a friend. Ooh. Is it Yago san? Now, some might say we shouldn't accept such a cryptic quest, but we had no choice. The reward was way too good to overlook. For those of you who don't know, Tempest is perpetually broke, so <laughs> it won't hurt to check it out and see if we can handle it, right? Man, being broke sucks. Don't I know it. <laughs> Protostar Twilight. Act Zero, Act Writer Felix Wolf. Conversation writer, mix, and artist, Chin Jiu Jiu. I... I'm not so good at being interactive with the fandom. I... I've never known how to properly interact in fandom spaces. Not saying I'm, like, inappropriate, but I just don't... I don't know the etiquette, so I end up just staying quiet a lot. But if, if I do end up recognizing any of these names, that would be very cool. But if you're in here and I don't recognize you... I'm sorry. It's 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 on me. <laughs> um, there's not a lot happening behind my eyes. <laughs> it's a sunny day in the higher mountains of Elysium. Pretty background. Very lush. That's what uh the greenery around me currently is looking like. The weather is so nice. This mountain, in particular, is the mysterious peak at the heart of their quest. People complain of a strange sensation when they ever come too close to it. Upset Tommy? Hot girl Tommy issues? <laughs> the mountain is named The Traveler. No one knows why. <laughs> the name was whispered long before anyone lived here. After scouting, Shinli and Fleon gave the green light that the area was safe. I mean, Fleon has a giant mech, 
so I think any area is gonna feel pretty safe. <laughs> At noon, Tempest gathered near the cliffs to begin investigating. Metal fell off, but that's okay, he got better. <laughs> Mountain just straight up stands up and walks away. <laughs> the Traveler! Okay, so it looks like they've done different artists for each boy. That's so that's I think that's a nifty way to get more people involved. I I I can't wait to see the kind of charm they put with everybody. But I I, don't, I can't do Shinri's voice. You've you're hearing my voice now. It is very much not um it is not smooth kind gentleman. <laughs> I am um... <clears throat> I'm embarrassed already. I don't know how to do it. I can't. I'm just gonna sound like a fool. I can't match Shinri. Do it! Okay, well listen. <laughs> um 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 There you are. Fleana and I have been waiting for you guys. All good? Did you get any information? I can't do impressions! Vesper's a Vesper. It's the first to arrive together with Axel. The rest of the team a few yards behind them. I do also want to say I... Obviously I don't want to bog down the beginning of stream too much with me talking about my mushy, cringe feelings. But I would like to talk a little bit about... At the end, about um, Hall of Star Zian in general and just some of the boys. Just because they... Their work... And then they mean a lot to me. So I, I, I want to take um, at least a little time to talk about them and why. So if you are someone who doesn't know about Hollow Stars yet and you still manage to sit through this entire stream, first of all, thank you. Uh, second of all, I, I will like to talk about uh, each of the boys and what I think some of their charm points are. So maybe you can get an idea about who you might like to watch. Because I think Hollow Stars Ian has a talent that at least... There's a, one personality amongst the talents for everyone. Kind of. You know what I mean? Like, they're not all the same. But they're all very high quality. And they're all different and distinct enough that they, they, they appeal to all the different, you know, ranges, I feel like. Any. <laughs> Okay, best place for the axle. The rest of the team a few yards behind them. The scholar's expression is thoughtful as he thinks over Shinri's question. <gasps> Vesper! Gigi! <laughs> Grandpa! Oh, he looks so handsome! Honestly, him and Shinri, but very handsome, the artist who did it. And I like Fleon has... He, he, it's, he's radiating the gremlin energy that he is known for. Very cutie. Still handsome, but very cutie. <laughs> but oh, Vesper looks so nice. Sorry if I'm a little, you, you. <laughs> I miss Grandpa. But he looks, he looks as handsome as the day we lost him. Um, I don't know how to. Vesper has a very rich voice, not in the same way of Shinri's, but it has more. Hmm, it has a very bright body to it. Which feels... I guess you could say, like, uh, Vesper's voice is more... Saturated? While Shinri's is more subdued. Hmm. I feel like especially when Vesper laughs, is when you can definitely feel it. It's that really, like, full-chested... <laughs> I can't do it, but... <laughs> One second, oh. When he has a serious mouth, huh? hmm, it's a bit odd. Story's the same, but there are a few unique details. I can't do a Vesper impression, I'm sorry. I do think his 2.0 model, they did a really good job with the art and the rigging for capturing the feel of his laughter. Where it's that really big mouthed, ah, <laughs> kind of laugh. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that they could, I don't know the reasons. I, I, no one besides, you know, cover <laughs> knows the reasons for why they had to change the models really but I 
I'm glad that so much of the charm of the first design could still be retained and then also incorporating its own flavor, but also better captures, you know, the personality of Vesper, I feel like, and how he grew in Tempest. <laughs> some complained about headaches the moment they got too close to the mountain. So, I, I can't do... <laughs> some mentioned falling ill for a few days. I mean, me too, if I ever have to hike. Sigh, Vesper, I'm a weenie. And a handful mentioned panic attacks at night when they slept near the mountain. Uh, not me, that's just every night. Mountain or not. <laughs> Cops take longer, they taste like crap, all sorts of things, you know? <laughs> He should have hidden his, uh, barrel of rice somewhere here and then bar uh, uncovered it to find out oops, if the taste was any different. <laughs> Do you think that's the work of a pissed off witch or mage? I don't- I- Makina has much more of a- Sorry, I feel like now I'm backtracking going talking about the charms. <laughs> Makina has more of a- Makina explain has more of a- a shonen feel, but not like the plucky protagonist believe in yourself and you'll always overcome. He, he'll he psych you out into feeling like that's it. But he's like more of an older like shonen protagonist, you know, where like, yeah, life sucks and I'm gonna power through it. <laughs> you know? I like it. it. It has a maturity to it. Like, it still has that youthful sound, but it, it's has the maturity of, of someone who knows the world more. Oh yeah, I don't know these men. Oh, choo choo egg! <laughs> Wegg. <laughs> well, you're about to know these men. I'm big fans of theirs. And I wished I could be one of these men too. I've been crazy. I mean, who, who, who would make a full five minute audition tape of proposing a character to be a star? Not me, no. Oh, definitely not. I, I know my limitations. I I don't put myself out there just to, just to make a mess. No. <laughs> I know what I sound like. <laughs> yeah. Brianna's existential dread in his voice. He does. I think that's part of what makes him so relatable. <laughs> so, uh, pissed off witch or mage? I mean, nothing these boys can't handle. They have another character ready for a second audition. Well. Don't worry about it. Them cursing a mountain isn't too unusual. I feel like that'd take a lot of magic to curse a whole mountain. That would be a very scary witch or mage. Shinri! Uh, certain types of dragons could do this, especially elder elemental ones. I gotta say, um. Now, I do have to preface with I've never disliked any Hollow Stars EM boy. I think they're all phenomenal. But I think. Shinri was the longest to grow on me, not because of anything of him directly, but because you see, like, a certain character design with a deep voice, and you feel like, okay, I know what kind of personality type this character is going to be, you know? You know, kind of typecasting. And I think what grew on me with Shinri so much is that he really subverts that expectation. Like, I don't want to compare him to other VTubers, but, um... There is a certain... Personality type you expect with the deep voice older... VTubers, and, you know, much more sexy, I'll call you baby girl, things like that. And that has its appeals for people. Um, I don't tend to like it, so I, I thought that that's what Shinri was going to be like. So I was like, you know, he can do whatever, but actually watching him is... Is, is much different because he does have, of course, still the deep manly voice and is an adult, but he's much more of a nerd. <laughs> he's, he's nerdy and sweet and gentle. So he definitely gives less of the sexy vibes, despite everything, and more of like a clumsy, gentle giant kind of vibes. He's our daddy daddy dude, he is. <laughs> See, I think part of it, uh, with the cover of that song released with his debut gave me different vibes. Am 
my dream you made a whole art book of concepts for your Tempest ripoff story and it slept. I had a Tempest ripoff story? Hell yeah. Hi, shiny Uchichu. You're welcome. Music is smooth with it. It is very good. I quite like it. But uh, Sh Shinri is, first of all, an incredibly smart man. Um, but he's, he has this very gentle presence that you just kind of want to like sit in the same room with him and have a nice drink and like read a book. And it's so cute watching him get excited and how he giggles and how much, well, how much everyone, all of the boys love their fan base, but him interacting with his koi panions and how hard he works. It's, it's very sweet. It, he, he's a lot softer than I feel like people initially think when they see him. His, those big titties hide a big heart. <laughs> and I wouldn't even say hide, he wears it on his sleeve. Does a VTuber simulate? Interesting. Sort of. <laughs> Daily life in the day of Tempest. So I feel like if, if you want, especially because like, horror games are hard for me, but he makes them a comfy, cozy experience, which is very unique to him. So I, I definitely, if you like comfy, cozy streams, he's definitely the guy you want. Stratical? Strategical? Stratical. Strategic and radical. <laughs> no more toothache. I'm so happy, Shiny. Strapped to RPG. You know I keep that fang on me. How would I do an Axel impression? He's like... He has a very unique accent just to him. It's like... Australian Valley Girl with something else. <laughs> mixed in. Or maybe the people are just kind of paranoid, yo. <laughs> Dick and balls! The Aniki that's the VOD destroyer. He destroys his VOD so he... He's hands down probably the hardest to get into because there's not as much... I mean, he still has tons of stuff, you know, saved, but also so much of it has to get edited down. Oops. Special thanks to Toyamane for all he does. <laughs> Say, hey, yo. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's, he is very delinquent gang Big Brother vibes, which is why all his axolotls call him Aniki. It, it fits him very well. I, I do feel bad that sometimes, because without headphones, it already takes more of my concentration to understand them, you know, with everything going on. Like, all VTubers. But even still with headphones, it's like my processing power for Axel is delayed. So I have to be more focused. For some reason, my brain just has a really hard time understanding him, and I don't... I don't really know why. Because... I understand what he's saying, but at the same time, like... It's like my brain is slower to process it. You feel me? <laughs> He's too swaggy for you. You know, probably. <laughs> and he talks mad shit for little blonde twink. <laughs> Fe phenomenal singer, though, let me tell you. And his 3D debut was so very hype. Very good. Definitely. If, if you want to see a very delinquent boy disaster <laughs> just very frank very straight to the point but very him axel is the one for you <laughs> when vesper asked a few guys even started to cry before he finished his sentence hey yo they start crying about the mountain fairy tales could be a great way to keep purple pup purple oh my gosh people under control you know yeah, like Grimm's Fairy Tales, where it's like, you know, don't go into the woods or the witch will eat you. Which, crazy that that's like a reoccurring fairy tale theme of witches eating people. Like, how, how is that related to magic? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Baby Girl Squad! <laughs> yippee, yeah, yippee! Oh, they look so cute! Tasty SMH, you know what? Consider
considering who has just appeared on screen, you're very right. <laughs> and I mean that for both of them. Baby girl one and baby girl two. With their hands on their hips, you know it. The only thing better would be if like their arms were linked and then their hands were on their hips. <laughs> yeah, temper for all, the first two members. Just need Haka as the third. <laughs> I adore Betel, as you all know, and, and Magni, which some of you might know as much because by the time I, I came back from my break, he had already graduated along with Vesper, but uh, Magni and Vesper were definitely my favorites of headquarters and what really got me to stick around. For Tempest. No offense to Altera Axel, because they also are wonderful, but I think it was easier for me to get into Magni and Vesper starting small, while Altera and Axel I feel like might be a more intimidating because you really see what their charms are in long form, while Magni and Vesper I could get more of an idea about who they were in clips. They have different strengths, and Vespers and Magnes happen to work well with my short attention span. <laughs> www.hollowstars.com or .jp or... <laughs> we winning, we winning. Also, Phantom looks adorable, and I love that Magni has a Magmite on his head. Honestly, top tier uh, fan mascot design were Magmites. <laughs> and they go, squeak, squeak. Anyway, I love both these baby girls, and they I, I will talk more at length about them later, but also Battle! Suki ga kirei desu yo ne. That's don't worry about it. Magni walks up next to Battle. Yes. Who holds Phantom between his hands like a hamburger? <laughs> hold gently! Hold gently like a hamburger! Like me! Like a classic meal be me! Hold violently like hamburger. No! <laughs> Hold with uh, punishing force. <laughs> You're going to squish him. No, he's baby. He's evil, but he's baby. Honestly, both the art is very nice. I like the almost delicate look of Betel, as opposed to like Magni has a bit more like how to like body to him, which I feel like is very accurate to how they are. Like, Magni is definitely much more of a sturdy person than Betel, and Betel is much more of a waif. <laughs> and I mean that in the most po positive way possible. I love me uh, waify man. <laughs> Gotta find that vintage Mio meme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Betel's pose is showing off his nape for vampires. For me? I mean, for vampires? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's real nice. So good. So good, so good. Sounds like people really do fear something they can't even see. Maybe a mournful spirit? The rest of the team follows close behind in good spirits. Oh, of course! Haka! <laughs> oh, Haka's so good. I feel like... If I were to recommend a VTuber to non-VTuber fans, Haka would probably be who I'd recommend. He's, he's really easy to get really hyped up with and get, like, what is it, invested with. He's got a lot of energy, and he's just, he's just a good boy. <laughs> I was thinking about that too, Flayon. I, I, I don't know how to do Baka's voice. But I can't sense any spirits roaming around here. Yeah, he's an exorcist, so he would, he would be the, the, the expert. Ex exhort, expert exorcist. That was dumb. Ignore that part. At least not the kind that would cause these problems. Hmm. Also, his artwork is also very cute. He feels very sparkly, sparkly, which I think fits very well. I keep getting a little distracted by Shinri's art because it's very good. Like, sir, those look heavy. Can I help you? <laughs> Can I carry those for you? <laughs> nice abs, lol. They are. I want abs. I want abs like that. Shinri, what's your routine? Tell me. Shh, 
win. Yes. With Choo Choo Rockets. Also, uh, why is Hakka so tall? <laughs> I know it's the shoes, but... <laughs> Hakka sighs deeply as Altair arrives with his phone in his hand, hastily typing something. Not his magic mirror, his phone? <laughs> I'm kidding. Aww! Something about his art makes me feel like classic IPG. How much Lord Enemies? Not much, I've been yapping, I'm so sorry. <laughs> also, is chat not showing up? I don't think it is. Oh, no, because I have to... Hold on, I can fix this. Actually, I can't fix this. I can see you guys, so sorry if you can't see you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm breaking things left and right. I should have put you above me. Wait, I might be able to do that. Can... I just didn't realize how things were going to play out. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Uh, I forgot I zoomed out so much on my browser because I had to fix things. Really classic feel. Yeah, I feel like I would see him in like a Game Boy Advance. There we go. A Game Boy Advance like RPG. Now I know I am taking a while and I apologize. I, I forgot to also mention at the front, um, Tactical Elysium, the creators did say that the game played at a leisurely pace to like really enjoy it will be approximately four hours. So I'm just gonna move this like behind my head and I'm gonna move this over here. Actually I could probably put this on top. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Let me see if it updates. It might not. You guys might just be screwed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it is some really good music. I'll have to look at who, who did it. Okay. Well, it looks like I can't fix chat me right now. And I do apologize. Unless I... Ah! No, I did it! Okay, we're fine. We're good. We're, we're Gucci Maximus. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> well, that just means we have to figure it out ourselves. I'll, I have to remember to be more whispery with Altair. He's, he's got the very gentle, kind voice. Protect it. I'll... I wanted to dab, but I don't. <laughs> Tacked it. Just know that I did in real life. We're so back! Yes, hello, my beautiful skies. Now you can be properly here. <laughs> Ready to get the job done. I'll tear a point at Axel. Axel! <laughs> can you check out the area near the cliff with Haka and Freya? Sure thing, boss. No problem. Hey, yo. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's what I default to. Axel jokingly salutes them, pulls both Hakka and Flan by the wrist toward the cliff. Everyone hears Flan complaining as the group leaves. You hate me! That kind of complaining. <laughs> hmm. I want to check out that section over there. Maybe Shimmy and Flan overlooked something. Magni, Betel, would you do the honor of joining me? Ah, we're splitting up ten purple. No! <laughs> How would I do Betel's voice? It's... It has a very like... Ow, 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 no, my screams don't work well. It's like... The highs and lows of his speech are very... Rapid, back to back. Does that make sense? Like if I, if I drew it as like... A, a, like a sound thing, it would be like high peaks. Not like squeaky, but like high peak, low peak, they would be close together. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sure thing, Vespi. Come on, Phantom. Let's check some stuff out. It's it's very performative. He talks kind of fast. Yes. It's it's very performative, high energy, but not high positivity. 
he does very much embody like a sopping wet cat that is desperately trying to get your applause. <laughs> he performs his role very well. <laughs> My knees is more smooth. Again, I, I'm saying this because I cannot do the voice. <laughs> no problem. No problem, brother. <laughs> Don't spread out too much, all right? This is unknown territory. Yeah, yeah, I got it. No splitting up. Man, what do you think this is? A horror game? Make me know! That's a flag! Make me know! <laughs> Snorting, Magni waves at Altair, leaving him with Shinri, who struggles to hide a smile. I mean, whoever ends up with Magni, which probably it's good that Bettle's with him, uh, Magni will always get them out of that situation. I feel like Vesper also could too, pure force, but I feel like, without a doubt, Magni could just, he, he'll think of something. He'll get out of it. <laughs> He's incredibly smart to the point of it being very intimidating. <laughs> what? What are you smiling at, huh? Magni's got this. Yeah, he's... He's he's a hyper-competent baby girl as opposed to Betel's uh, uh, fail girl, baby girl. <laughs> this Phantom a playable character? That would be fantastic. <laughs> Nothing. Just enjoying the moments we spend together as a guild. And then you need that deep shit. <laughs> but no, I just sound like a fuckboy when I do it. Damn it! <laughs> do we want to check out the other area? <laughs> I should have listened to a compilation of all their different voices. So I could try and get the like, idiosyncrasies of them at least. Yeah, let's see if we find something that'll help figure this out. Buddha miss. Three hours pass. Hot damn. No one finds anything that'll help figure this out. Fayon joins the team with his face puffy and his arms crossed. Oh, like pouting like... <gasps> <laughs> nothing. We found nothing. This is getting annoying. Kusogaki. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling this is all just a huge joke. Understandable. But we should continue the search. I'm watching while having strawberry ice cream. How nice! Next stream, you do full impressions. <laughs> do we really have to? I mean, we've been searching for hours, and all we found are sticks and stones. That break your bones? And the words that constantly hurt you? <laughs> Phantom probably is too, right? Fa fa <laughs> That'll someone looks for you. Yeah, what the hell? You lost your little boy! Where's your little man? You abandoned your boy! <laughs> throw, quickly, throw tomatoes at him! You good? Did you see a ghost or something? Lost friends, we get SMH. <laughs> Shaking my head, my head. When she grows ever so elusive, they all try to eat each other. <laughs> I, hmm. I don't know who would win in a contest of trying to eat each other. I mean, Betel would be knocked unconscious. He'd walk away alive somehow, because he'd be knocked unconscious and then get up at the end. But he wouldn't be able to eat anyone. <laughs> nice tomatoes. He wouldn't be able to eat anyone, because that would be schnasty, and texture would be terrible, and also it would taste gross. So he would just starve to death. But I feel like it would come down to a showdown between Altair... Magni and Vesper? If we're talking pure power. Maybe just Vesper and Altair. Because Magni would run out of, like, tricks. Or be backed into a corner. I'm thinking too much on it, but we're playing a game. <laughs> Phantom isn't here. He was... I'm sure I took him with me when we headed back. <laughs> Who's gonna feed him a Dave's Double three times a day if it's not me? The Battalion? Or this game will reference the battle dying on a landmine. <laughs> I remember walking next to you when we... I remember him walking next to you when we returned. Maybe he found something? Well, I mean, if you had him walk, his little legs are so tiny, he should have been riding on your shoulder. 
Hang on, don't worry. I can find them. Just give me one second. Orion raises up a hand and draws something in the air, creating a screen out of nothing. After he types a few buttons, a tiny red dot appears on the screen. I put the tracker in him. How? You don't want to know. <laughs> Phantom has one entrance. Technically, it's an exit. <laughs> There he is, just around the corner, like a two minute walk away from us. Near the cliff? What the hell is Phantom doing there all alone? Ha! Ah, it doesn't matter, let's go get him! No. <laughs> well, maybe he really found something, and he's waiting for us. Ever the optimist. Phantom jump us- No! But he'd come back to life, he wouldn't die even if he jumps, because he's cool like that. <laughs> Phantom says today. Phantom says slash kill command. <laughs> and he's out of there. Can't stand this twink. <laughs> well, time to pick the doggy up. <laughs> I like I like Metal's like hmm, face there. It's cute. With Leon on the lead, Tempest makes her way back to find Phantom. Phantom, buddy! <laughs> dot, 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 dot. What's with that face, Haka? I do like with the art style for Axel. He has so something that feels soft about it. That's really nice. And I like that you can see more of the details of his outfit, which you can sometimes miss in his model. I forgot to, I forgot to, uh, 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 uh give the compliments to the chefs. <laughs> I want this twinkle obliterated. That's me looking at any of the hollow stars. I'm pointing with such aggression and I'm trying to explode them with my mind. Like Magni. <laughs> soft served hair. It does look particularly soft, don't it? Honestly, I don't know. There's something weird in the air. There's also like my brain's trying to... There's a distinct way Haka has of talking when it's recorded lines and when he's live. You know, it's, I don't know how to put it, but it's, it's more measured out, I guess, when it's recording, which makes sense, because it's like, oh, this is, this is something I'm, this is a, a thing I am making, I'm using my voice for, while it's live, we're getting, like, his actual reactions and things like that, so it, it's very on the spot. And I think my brain's confusing which version it wants to try. <laughs> There's something weird in the air. He also has the faintest, 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 faintest bit of an accent. And I don't know how to do it. I, I hear it a lot in the end of some words, like D's and T's are a bit sharp at the end. Like they have a click, like... <laughs> Does that make sense? You should do his excited voice. Lena! <laughs> the coolest and cutest exorcist in all the Dino Kuni. <laughs> That's two different. I'm sorry, I just really like when he yells to Altair. <laughs> it's very cute. Come on, come on. I mean, he can do a lot of uh, animal impressions, but I can't do any. But yeah, uh. Yeah. He, he has the, the very slightest bit of, I, I would call it, I guess, an accent. And it's, it really adds to his cutie power, I think. <laughs> but especially when his sentences end with, like, a hard T or a D, you hear it, it's that kind of click sound, you know? I think it works very well with his traditionally, like, traditional shonen protagonist vibes. Like, he is the shonen protagonist, like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep working hard and everything will work out. <laughs> I mean, he's still realistic and down to earth, obviously, of course, but his his voice has a lot more of that energy, you know. And I think that's what part of works so well when him and Fleon uh, collab together is that they have very similar energy, but it covers both sides of the spectrum of it, of like shonen protagonist. They complement each other well, very nice. I don't know, there's something weird in the air. Weird, like a corruption beast, maybe? 
I think maybe it's Axel's how it is, like the beats of how Axel speaks are different. I don't know how to explain this. But I think it's just like it's like playing a rhythm game. It's uh his voice is a song I'm not accustomed to yet. <laughs> you know? Like the tempo is like, oh wait, hold on. <laughs> but it's part of what makes him so appealing. Not that you mention it. Man, that's yeah, man, that's super specific. How did you know? Cause I'm getting the same feeling. Ah. Oh, that's such a cute Hakka face! Oh, <laughs> adorable! The conversation ends the moment they finally find Phantom. Phantom! He sits near the cliff, staring into the abyss. The abyss meaning the ocean, the abyss meaning the sky. Hey, where was it? The hey with the left. Hey, 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 Phantom! There you are, little buddy. Well, little guy. <laughs> gently, gently. <gasps> Petal does love him. Petal picks Phantom up, holding him like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> Just flings him over his shoulder. Oh, nice detail. I. This is something minor, but like... You see a lot in RPG games, even in, like, professionally done ones, um, with sprites. Often, they'll, even if it has an asymmetrical design, they'll just flip it for them to face the other way. And so, half and half designs end up just getting flippy flopped. but they, they, they made actual distinct sprites that, uh, like, still have a Bettle's, like, patterning on the right side. That's, that's fantastic! Ex excellent job. Like, I wouldn't have called it out if it didn't have it, but I definitely want to, like, highlight the quality of that because, like, you don't even get, like, professional AAA games that bother <laughs> to do that. So thank you, Tactical Elysium. Hey, Altair. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my stomach. <laughs> I didn't realize how hunky I was. Can we go home? Aww. Betel is a homebody, ain't he? That face is really cute on Betel! <laughs> that is a nice detail. Nice catch. No, that's really nice. You good? I know you're not necessarily the biggest fan of quests like this, but I mean... I imagine Betel is most often used as bait <laughs> for most quests. But this would, uh, going up a mountain would require a lot of walking, and you know he's doing it in heels. You did eat, I did eat some, I'm just really, really hungry again. I wonder if, uh, if I could throw my card at somebody in the house and be like, just get me something, <laughs> please. I'm worried about Phantom. He's been acting strange ever since we got close to the cliff here. I mean, Phantom's always strange. Eat the shrimp on your head. No! That is too, that is my name tag that designates me as a tempura. Is that Angie face? I'm sorry, Bleepley. I don't mean you, but I mean if you could take my wallet to um so, uh, somebody else in the house. Cause the, the food card has money on it. Hmm. Oh? oh yeah, I do have the window open. I forgot to mention it. So if anything outside gets too loud, uh, please let me know. <laughs> it's like, he's not really here, you know? I'm worried this area is having an effect on him. I'm just like lapsing into my own voice from battle. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Will you allow me to observe Phantom? To ease your mind? Vesper carefully approaches Phantom with Betel's arms, but stops midway. They really do need a healer, or like a doctor or something. Be great if someone auditioned with 
The idea of a cleric. Just then, he turns his head to his left, glaring into the woods. <gasps> Someone's coming. They're close by. I see them right there. Oh, dramatic music change. Between the dark shadows of the trees, a hooded man emerges. Yagosa. <laughs> I'm keeping. Oh, actually. <gasps> oh, is this? Oh, actually, this would be really good if I if it's going where I think it's going. From beneath the hood, they can make out a cold, dead smile as he stops. Almost immediately, I'll to hear a blow in my mouth. Altair moves in front of his team and holds his gun saber at the ready. Oh, I double clicked. I didn't mean to. Who are you? Why are you here? That was you, wasn't it? The quest. Did you send us that quest to come here? Oh crap, it's a trap, yo? But he's all alone. He can't beat us, alright? I, 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 I'm not a voice actor! I'm so sorry, boys! I'm doing you a horrible disservice! <laughs> I wouldn't test your fate too much, Axel. Stay on your guard. Ah, you got it, Gramps. Right back at ya. <laughs> of course. Who do you take me for? I'm pretty sure Vesper could actually kill us all IRL, <laughs> if I'm being very real. <laughs> Enough dilly dallying. I've waited long enough for your arrival. Now it's time to take action. What's your deal, bro? <laughs> you got a problem with us? Dude! <laughs> Silence clown! <laughs> it's time for battle, not meaningless chatter. You should have said it's time for battle, battle not battle. <laughs> clown, I am a jest! Altair holds his arm up in front of battle, silencing him. Why don't you just tell us what you want? The robed man scoffs at that and lifts a hand in front of him to point at Altair. No, I don't think I will. It's far too early for that. Early? Yes, early. For the time being, why don't you all have a bit of fun with one of my pets? Deep roar, roar, reverberates in the air, and the ground beneath the boys begins to quake. That's just my Tommy. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> uh, I'm not too. Sh I'm not sure. I like that sound. Agreed. Maybe it's time to retreat. I don't think so. Come to me, my puppet. Or is it? No, I don't think it is, cause the hair is different. But also. A billowing cloud of pure black smoke seeps from the ground and gathers behind the road man. The Heartless! <laughs> when you walk away... <laughs> Throw Phantom like a rock? But you would like, just be like a plushy, I feel like. Just squeaky, you'd have to really hope the zipper part hits. <laughs> like, hits them in the eye. Battle is beat! <laughs> Show them your power. Crush them! I do like how serious Haka looks and also like pain. I feel like that's very fitting. <laughs> no, I really do like the detail of metal arm spread. Like in the center, that's very... It's very right. <laughs> the art's beautiful. I do like the coloring and shading, the very soft look of it. The smoke coalesce is taking a large demonic corporeal form. So not a... a um, a... a, a a corruption beast. Oh my gosh, my brain stopped. Art goes hard. It really does. It's been very good. Ready up. Let's show this guy the power of Guild Tempest. Hell yeah! You got it, boss man. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Oh my goodness, look at the pixels! <laughs> Battle almost looks like he's doing a little cha-cha. I love it. No, this does slap. So it's like a dragon. There's the rope man. He's got a skull. <laughs> I'm just enjoying all of them. 
Is Maggie like drink, drinking one of his potions? <laughs> it's hero time. Okay. Oh, that's a, okay. Okay, so we got Regis Altair, hero class, of course, of course. Gun saber, armor, white, food potion, boost potion. Don't know what that does yet. Press space. Oh, I don't know what space is. Oh, press space to start. Okay. <laughs> Maggie does Of course. Aww, I really like their portrait art. It's really, really cute! Syringe, yep, boost potion. Glove of cloak, yes. And special makes you. Vesper Noir. Peppa! Skeet! <laughs> Scholar. Rape your tongue, and push, push, push. And he has a spear! Hell yeah, let's go! Let's see, what's the HP on? Oh, he has a lot less then. Is it because he's bringing him Papa? Well, I've Obviously, it's got to be based on their guild cards, but I haven't seen their guild cards in a while. Yeah, Axel Sirius. Fighting gloves, dog treat chain. <laughs> Banzuin Haka, the coolest and cutest exorcist in all Zeno Kuni. <laughs> Banz Ohio. <laughs> Double spear, yep. Sold the third spear to Vesper. Healing potion, boost potion, okay. Gavis Battle, ladies and gentlemen. It's, time. it's the moment you've been waiting for. Gavis Battle! Aw, he looks so cute and happy. Jerry says hi. <laughs> Beautiful. It is rapier whip. It looks purple. I wonder if, or is that like a sheep? I wonder. I think there's a music note down by. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I can click them. Oh, so bonus speed plus fifteen. Oh, cause run away from the buff. I don't know. Rapier whip. Guess battles person. Oh, it says like poor Jerry. <laughs> Potion made by Mamie. All stats plus five for five tears. Oh, okay, okay. I can read. I'm learning. I'm learning. Purchase a weapon. Absurdly dangerous, but somehow works for him. <laughs> Honestly. Like, how is this man using a, a, a rapier whip? <laughs> Aesthetically, very nice book. Oh, so, wait. Perform unit skill. Grant so waiting unit number. <gasps> he has the performer skill! Like in fire! Perfect! Mwah. You go, you sweaty dancer! <laughs> what? Oh, I'm trying to... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, I don't know... Oh, so does he count as, like, mage? So that's, uh, Tolman's staff, and in Fire Emblem, so that's, you know, magic and healing. Yeah, grappling axes. Oh, so his chain counts as an axe. Or is he just count under a, like, berserker class kind of view? Jeremy says greetings. Jeremy? <laughs> Which is you, Jeremy? Or is that Jerry's full name? Let's see. Let's get Manny, uh, sword? Okay, so his syringe cuts a sword. Okay, okay, okay. Should be important. Aw, his artwork looks so cute! I feel like he's gonna, like, tell me, like, secret tips of, like, how to handle being an adult. Like, here's how to make easy, balanced meals, and this is how to file your taxes. <laughs> it's all gonna be, not like, um, patronizing, but very genuinely sweet and helpful. <laughs> That's what that face tells me. What? No, I just wanted to, okay. Fact that we have dragon, high dragon, high dragon. Oh! Really a secondary weapon. I'm trust you. Really a secondary? I don't know. And Makina! Yeah. 
do plan to play this little thing today. So. Damage. Oh, okay. Convoy. Formation. How do I... There we go. Okay, I'm learning. I'm used to playing Fire Emblem on Nintendo consoles. So. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Shinri primarily uses a bow, so we don't want him being up front like this. Actually. Oh no, that's not what I want. Oh, that turns. And that. Okay, 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 okay. I'm learning. Blip. Hello, Wolfie, you chit you! So. Can I put Altair where Shinri is? No? That's just. Okay, well, maybe I can. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay, 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 yeah, 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 go, 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 go. Uh, HP, HP. HP. Or two. Oh, yeah, our, our baby glass cannon. Okay, so, gonna want these guys closer. Shiri's HP is honestly not too bad for a long range unit. Actually, he should be longer range, but Axel's the like longest range. Huh. This one shall be payback for Dragon's Gates. Dragon Gate Sleep. Jitters, eh? It's fine. We'll take it one step at a time. First things first, we gotta learn how to move. Okay. 
Okay, seems simple enough. How do I do that exactly? <laughs> okay, so it, it was gonna handhold me. I'm dumb, I'm sorry. First, click on the new unit where you wanna move, then drag yourself to where you wanna go. Press the confirm button. Try a straight line. It should look something like this. <laughs> A straight line measure. That was easy. Can I use this with other guild members too? <laughs> Control their bodies. Half hours lost. That just happened. What is this game? Just what? This is Proto Star Twilight, a fan made game featuring the members of Hollow Star E. Hollow Star's EN. Hold on, I'm reaching for a chocolate. I'm hungry. Let's see. Dark moose. Ooh, are whole mooses in here? And it is Fire Emblem style, so tactical RPG. And we are currently being accosted by a hooded man, a mysterious hooded individual, and a dragon. Yeah, this is the same principle. Try moving Magni to get him beside you. Do we have like double like support attacks and everything? <gasps> that would be amazing. This is a nice little tutorial, thank you. Okay. Okay, now that you can move, you can go for an attack when you're next to an enemy. Make sure to observe your opponent carefully before you attack. Okay, so observe the enemy. Wait, what's with the map? That's where there's a lot of numbers! I also am intimidated by map. Who do I think it is? I think it is the doppelgangers from the official release of Hollow Star's visual novel. your combat stats. Crit, attack, all that juicy nerd stuff. You can look it up later in your journal. Just focus on the big number at the top. That's big and important. And so the doppelgangers are all like these alternate versions of the members. Um, Altair's was the demon lord. I don't remember everybody's, unfortunately. Altair's was the demon lord. Like, that all was like this Kiko Mori Showman, I believe. Haka was like the complete Tengu demon. Flan was an automaton. Shinri was like a huntsman, I believe. Should I eat the last donut or be nice and let someone else have it? You should let me have it. The number shows how luckily it is to hit the enemy, and you can hit them twice or thrice. Ooh, thrice! Hell yeah. The higher your speed, the more attacks you can do. Oh, that's one, that one, that's one's clean cut. I'm not sure, really sure what that sentence is trying to be. <laughs> Maybe that one's clean cut? Like the, <laughs> <laughs> He threw it! <laughs> he looks kind of like Mike. That's a good blow, but did you know you can deal more damage? More damage, really? He threw his side! <laughs> Yobi, you can have it. <gasps> Thank you. Okay, hold on. I, I'm gonna go get a donut. Be right back. I wish I don't have my as much as my space tiny powers, so I can't go over to you. Why damage, really? If you're lucky, you can catch the enemy off guard with a critical hit. If you attack right now, for a limited time offer, triple the damage. We've got a couple more people to murder, so. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! I, I knew it was coming, but because I saw their teaser for Battle's Critical, but that they have the actual, like, voice, they have actual voice lines. Taken from the boys is so cute. Oh, they got more people to murder, so. <laughs> Swinging takes too much energy. Throwing the sword is more efficient. I feel like that's just not true. <laughs> so cute. So I don't need to describe their voices. You're gonna hear them. <laughs> My turn. Watch this. Wait, does. What just happened there? 
Also, who was that? That wasn't... Like the, um, battle sprites not... custom? That's okay. Wait, don't I have a potion with me? Vesper, where did you put the potions? Red or green? Greens for healing, reds for stab boots. You'll find them in your bag. Hope this helps. I want to hear them up. Well, also, outside of this game, you can look them up on YouTube. Their YouTube channels via their actual names. <laughs> like Ranger Altair and Magni Desmond. Because I also believe Magni and Vesper's YouTubes are still available as an archive. Yippee! Thanks, man. <laughs> Good job. One last thing. Terrain effects. Terrain like grass and other stuff can help you in battle. For example, grass helps you avoid hits. You can find the rest of the nerd stuff in your journal later. Remember to check it now and then. Mm -hmm. Got it. Thanks, Vesper. You can use some information for the journal command on the battle menu. Okay. I think we can do this okay without... Two, three. Okay, so we're in range. Trumpets! I like these trumpets. I feel like I should be able to go... Which song this is, but I can't. <laughs> attention though. Attack means it can't counterattack. 
but if I have his attack... Candor Archives. Artist Loomis Scuro. Wait, who? Because all the... The boys themselves have, like, their own... Oh, oh, is it for, like, the CGs? Artists. Okay, 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 okay. Will the group be separated? Find out now! So I'm eating a chip. After falling down the hole, Altair's consciousness has fallen deep into the ether. Well, it's aether, but... According to Genshin Impact. Uh, 
es como de... Nene. <laughs> but a cliffhanger. But <laughs> Unfortunately for the leader of the Tempest Guild, the room full of crystals is too cold and bright. Oh, like his 3D debut! A room full of crystals? His body awakens with a jolt, the cold finally getting to him. Oh, pretty. Where am I? Groggily, Altair stands up and wanders through the dungeon. Some of the shadows come from the light of his armor, while others are from distant crystals. Wait, some of the shadow? Oh, because of the light cast. Yes. Altair's armor glows even more. More signs to be careful. His diamond shell! <laughs> However, Altair doesn't expect a human-looking shadow lying a few feet away. The shadow is thin. It looks like it has a lot of garments on it. Altair goes for a closer look. Wait, is that who I think it is? Who is it? Magni! That's the great Magni Desmond. The magnificent Magni. Unconscious and beaten, the alchemist nonetheless. Altair grabs the green potion, letting a few drops of liquid touch Magni's lips. Magni, can you hear me? The alchemist in question wakes up slowly, trying to get up without hurting himself more. Aw, I'm glad he's not dead! You know, Magni, Magni, I don't hear no bells! Dude, wait, Altair? Where are we? Where's the others? Kick him, no! <laughs> I don't know that either. The best we can do right now is keep exploring. Oh, boys. Throw a cup of water at him. Yeah, he'll wake up. Contr inhale copium. <laughs> the fact that the alchemist is still in pain doesn't help. Nor do the shadows growing behind them. Oh, no. I have a bad feeling about this. Eat the magmite for sustenance. <laughs> bad feeling about what? Shadow monsters! <laughs> Wait, what? Shadow monsters! Please tell me you've got extra potions in there, Altair. For shadow monsters? The shadows have the two guild members cornered. They have to fight them off. Oh man, we just got- Oh, shit! Those are the shadow monsters? Oh, they're cute! The harvest again! Okay. Is he damaged at all? But no, he's back up there. Okay, okay. Long range only. Much of the custom mechanical hands attached to Desmond's back. Yeah. It houses his former companions from the previous guild. Wait. Oh. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm unfortunately not super up to date, which sounds weird because he's graduated with Magni's lore. I saw his point five, but I had a hard time being able to watch a lot of streams when they first showed up because of just life stuff. But so I'm sorry. Strange things. <laughs> Stab anything. Check various dubious liquids. Take its poison! A 
Okay. Um, I think we're good to fight. Victory conditions. Defeat the general. Lose conditions. Everyone's dead. Right behind can this cute cutie do. It knocks out, um, let's turn the volume down a little. It gives us, like, all the status ailments. advantage. Oh, this still counts as being filled in crystals? Dope. We get terrain advantage over here, so I want to... Oh, I can talk! <gasps> Dope! <laughs> Do I have... Yeah. Don't Throw it! Don't be a little late tonight. I shouldn't have talked. I said, it's gonna be a little late tonight? I know we don't get a bunch of those, but after what happened last time, I'm being very cautious. <laughs> Talk. How are you holding up, Des? Any injuries so far? No, nothing. And even if I had been injured, do you think I, the great Magni Desmond, wouldn't have healed my wounds by now? All right, that's good then. You'll tell me if you get hurt though, right? Yeah, yeah, I got it, you big worrywart. Now let's focus on the battle at hand. We're not gonna get out of here by talking all day. Yeah, you're right. Let's get rid of that thing and go find our boys. Aww, our boys. Tell mom I'm gonna be home late tonight. <laughs> oh, and they got a boost! Okay, but that did take our turn. Oh, it's a tech is screaming. Oh, it does like nothing. Should have put a a, a, a a BRB stream, but I I fumbled. Oops. Shit on these kids. What? Okay. Um. Oops. Wrong button. Um. I want those treasures. Is that a gravestone? <gasps> it has a message. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go look at it. We gotta look at it with our eyeballs. Like, heard a like, comment, and subscribe. I feel like I'm doing a bad job of that today. <laughs> I've been real clumsy lately. Oh, 
they're spawning out of the ho hole. Mushroom. Oh, this counts as an open area? Oh. My swoon? Oh, wait. No, is this... No, it's plus... So, corrosive crystal, and that minuses our defense and resistance. And mushrooms, we get uh, plus 25 avoidance, which is very nice, but the defense and resistance is down. That's impassable. I want... Candy. Wait, what? Oh, do I have to go on top of it? Yeah! Some paths... Warning, some paths are more dangerous than others. Be cautious. Is it a fortune cookie chest? I want them to stay by each other. Mom and dad. <laughs> When? I feel like I left one of those tanks again. Awareness, time, pain. What's this feeling in my stomach? When did all these crystal shards start to grow on me too? What did Leader do to me last time I saw him again? Where did he go? Ah, uh, that way. A tube! Maggie? <laughs> hell healing chest, hell yeah! I heard them. My friends are back? Did Leader figure out how to get them out? I hear the echoes of their voices again. I've seen their forms walking through the caverns. How do I remember? I have to keep it together. I have to warn them Leader has many ideas now. What? His mind seems to be lost? Or has it changed? He isn't as gentle-tempered as he used to be. He wants to dominate and gain control over everything. He became the boss of this place. Journal of Tempest. Huh. Journal of Tempest was sent to the convoy. Makes sense. The journal has been updated. Okay. Uh, ah, no, no. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait. There you go. He became the boss of this place. Recruiting companions. Some of the creatures in the area may avoid combat when encountered. It's worth attempting to communicate. Oh! Oh, I might have fucked up. If successful, you'll gain a faithful companion. Oh, cute! Like Pokemon. So corruption. Stats are elevated if within the radius of a certain crystal. Oh, dear. All stats minus five, movement minus one. Okay. Bleeding. A heavy wound has been inflicted. Five minus, five, minus five HP. Turn Each turn for three turns. Oh, that could be death for some of them. <laughs> Death's call. Oh, no. A powerful spear beckons. Movement restricted. Oh. Okay, I thought something called Death's Call would be like, you're going to die in like three turns. <laughs> Move up. Status effect. Move plus two for two turns. 20 turns. Oh, oh, 20 turns. That's pretty good. Venom. Envenomated. Poisoned? <laughs> Minus two HP for three turns. Open area. Terrain tip. No step bonuses or penalties. Okay. Mushrooms goes. Move boost. Okay. Da -da, healing crystals. Plus five HP per turn. <laughs> healing crystals. Stairs. Stairs. Nice. Objective. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh wait, he already moved. So what's? Yeah. They don't really seem to be attacking. They seem to just be kind of chilling. Which one of you boys can speak Scorpion? I don't want to accidentally get Magni super dieted. <laughs> Make a Scorpion army. I should. I'm gonna wait. We'll see how this plays out. Gotta have 
have something, a nice jingle and visuals for healing, you know? <laughs> you see that, Dodge? Get fucked! I wish we could attack more than one at once, but that's not how this goes. Five, one. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, babe! Ah, damn! We have unlimited amounts of the special mix to that. Yeah! That's like a whole different story, baby. That's magic. Close one. I didn't have those healing potions. I think it would be done for. Two gilmums walk deeper into the cave as they walk close. It as the walls close in, my brain just stopped. As the walls close in at every step. First step for me! Yeah. A blue blob appears nearby as they get out of one of the narrower sections. I sleep I slime! Aw, look how nice the artwork is. Magni's face looks so serene, gentle there. Altair? This is about me being... I'm not gonna say it. But... It's a hell of a, of a sentence for one bro to say to his other bro. <laughs> you need a drink of water. Tara, do you see that blob? <laughs> the blob in question is a small slime looking like an old venture with small spikes. Yeah. Isn't it an old venture? If you've got vesties in the belfry. What? Well, there turns and sees the blue slime. Does that mean, like, uh, if you're messing with me? You're... Oh, that blob. It looks friendly. <laughs> that blob. <laughs> Indeed, the blob is cute. It is. It keeps staring at Altair as if waiting for something to happen. Wait, is, is like Magni sitting in that cute, like, I guess that you would call it girly pose where you like, you have both your legs to the side, that's adorable. Magni? <laughs> the little guy looks safe enough. Guess it wouldn't hurt to get close. Magni still has his weapons ready in case it checks, and Altair slowly starts singing. He sings to it! Blobs are always friendly, unless they aren't. <laughs> so true! 
It's smiling. Keep singing to it. If you could get it calm enough, we could take the little guy as a companion. <gasps> Is this what... Who's that gonna be in our extra, like, um... Slots? Is the, the mascots? How cute! Jello Tom. Or gelatin. Jello Tun. I thought that said Jello Tom. I thought that was his name. <laughs> we can do that? I'm as surprised as you are! <laughs> it's in the journal, remember? Okay, so... So not the scorpion. <laughs> Altair keeps singing to the little slime, and after he asks if it wants to join them, it smiles and makes a blob-like sound. Blop, 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 blop. It can't be now. Jello Tom. <laughs> blop, blop. I'd love to come with you guys. <laughs> I guess we're bringing him with us then. You could either put him in your pack, or we could have him out and about. I think he'll like it more out and about, won't ya? I don't get concept slime? <laughs> concept slime? This slime is but a concept that we've manifested with our minds. Magni croaked trying to recruit scorpions to the cause. Listen, I, I'm dumb! I should not be in charge of Tempest. <laughs> or eat him for lunch, I mean. Does this mean next we'll get a Magmite? Our intrepid members keep going further in, not knowing what could happen next. Maybe their little slime companion would prove useful. A meat shield for <laughs> the boys. Even though he's not made of meat. End of Act 1. Okay. Act 2. Act writer is Zenith Xander. Ooh, very alliterative name and with X's, no doubt. Pondering my slimes. <laughs> oh, I should redraw that. Like Altair holding a slime as the wizard and his orb. Orb, 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 orb. Conversation writer, Ale Song. And artist is Sky Limit I. It's nice that they got the credits um, right up front. For the people who did, like, each section. Bonzween Haka! Da da da! There's little bird feetsies who are gonna get tired walking down here. Haka? Haka! <laughs> Where is this? Where am I? He looks so cutesy cute. Just want to pinch his cheek. Haka sits up, rubbing his sore back and looking around, taking in the stagnant air. This boy has been through enough. <laughs> he can't take another blow like that. <laughs> it's cold, the only light coming from the iridescent strange crystals lining the walls. Uh, my head is killing me. Did I fall down somewhere? Where are the others and how... Uh! As he stands, he nearly crumples again from a crippling sensation. Oh no! It's as if the darkness outside is trying to crawl inside him, pushing and pulling at his body. Oh, Haka! Baby boy! No! A fleeting image flashes behind his eyelids. A beast, cloaked in black feathers and so, so hungry. It's the Tengu spirit. <laughs> Pressure becomes unbearable, trying to bruise his skin and crush his bones. Mm. It fades somewhat. Still there, but a little more tolerable. Akin to a small tension headache. The lingering ache leaves Haka more irritated than perturbed. Oh, precious bird. Uh, so I, all I could think was, or at least it's receding, and then I thought about Ruby, um, my friend Ruby, and how she, <laughs> the hashtag Latina stay winning. <laughs> In order to help Haka, 
Uh, go ahead and post about this with the hashtag Latino Stay Winning. No. Damn it, I need to pull myself together. I don't have time for this. I need to find the others. We need Ruby again. We do. Hakka! Battle! Shinri? Fion! Is anyone there? Latina stay winning. Hashtag Latina stay winning. Yeah! Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. Nothing answers. There's only the darkness. The ache from before. And a horrible silence. Scream louder! <laughs> Relatedly, it occurs to him that even if the others were here, he wouldn't be able to see them. Yeah, he's got bird vision! <laughs> he can't, birds can't see in the dark! Perhaps, supplies a voice in his head. They are here, but they can't hear you. We did it, Haka is saved. Yeah, look it, he's okay! He ignores it and stubbornly tries again. Later! A few hours. Hours? At least according to Haka. Oh, then. Hmm. Guys! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh Magni, are you there? Oh, he looks so upset. I mean, understandably, but. <laughs> His voice falters. The heaviness from before weighs on him, drowning out the repressive ache. I think I might get my sweatshirt. I like the fresh air, but it's starting to get a little chewy. Axel? V Vesper? Anyone? Yeah, Grandpa Vesper! You gotta take care of your baby bird! But nobody answers. Maybe he'd been the only one to fall down here. And the others are on the surface looking for him. That would be so freaking sad. He thinks about their faces. And somehow, they all look so sad. Oh, they would be so sad. They would miss you so much. They won't be the same without you. Then throw Haka into the trenches. <laughs> throw that boy in the pit. <laughs> go, go into the dark. Maybe they're down here, somewhere in the dark, unable to hear him, lying cold and lifeless. <gasps> That's even worse! No, no, I, I can't accept that. I won't, I won't! He continues to walk. Oh, the little pout is really cute. It makes me just want to like pluck him up and be like, don't worry, I got this. He has to get out. If they are gone, then they'd want him to live. This is true. Except maybe Betel. I'm kidding. He, he would never want anything bad to happen to him. <laughs> he only says die and uh, to hide up how, hide how his love for her, his guild mates. <laughs> They'd all want him to be safe because that's the kind of friends they are. So true. His eyes burn and his heart pounds wildly in his ears. Oh, he doesn't want this to be the end. He's so distracted, he almost doesn't hear a faint sounds coming from up ahead in the cavern. Huh? Thankfully, his ears are sharp. He listens more intently. Sharp like his spears. Strange. Can't seem to... I thought, like, is he gonna run into a Hakito? Because that'd be pretty amazing. Recrodo? <laughs> One voice, a soothing baritone voice, with distinct rising and falling inflections. Then, Shinri? See, si, could always go. A second one, one that is bassy and rumbles pleasantly in the air. Oh, so is it like Vesper and Shinri? A swelling feeling rises in his chest, filling Haka with joy, and he begins to sprint. Another lad running to the rescue, yeah. He knows those voices. Yeah, it's Vesper and Shinri! Art's cute. Vespi! <laughs> Wait, does he call Vesper Vespi? Shinri! <laughs> Shinri me! Shinri me! <laughs> it's your dad's! <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna get um my jacket. I'm getting chewy. I'm not going far. I'm just over to the side. You can't are just really freaking long. Ugh. Okay, hold on. I have.
have um, a little crop top on today that you cannot see that has dinosaurs on it. It's like a dinosaur print. It's pretty fantastic. My my human mama got it for me. <laughs> Bad. Not alone anymore. No, he's got two dads. <laughs> Honestly, how much Haka like looks up to and respects Vesper is so sweet. You know, like just so genuinely kind. And the fact that he's carrying on like the interview tradition and he did it with Artemis is it makes me very happy. Dinosaurs! Whoa! Yeah, pretty. I'm I'm pretty cool. <laughs> huh? Haka, where did you? Whoa! Haka nearly collides with the two older men, jumping around in sheer elation. Ah, little bird hops. <laughs> Haka, I'm glad you're okay. Is it just you? What do you mean just? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just me. I couldn't find anyone else. It's okay. We were tr also trying to find the others, but we run into some issues. Right, I'm eating another piece of chocolate. Haka looks at Vesper, who seems frustrated, teeth worrying at his lip. Huh? Like what? Like Vesper's biting on his lip with those fangies? He's gonna hurt himself. Ra oh, shouldn't he look so happy, though? Well, for one, this place is crawling with monsters. Strange ones, too. Like I've never seen. Ah, it's because of the monsters he's happy. <laughs> and Shinri's been having to solo most of them. I want to help besides just healing, but... Vesper, you're literally so strong. What? <laughs> Vesper lets out a quiet, mournful sound. Oh, But if Vesper can hear him heal, that's good. I lost my spear. Oh, no wonder them. I must have fallen down someplace I can't reach. Well, you might as well be naked. <laughs> can't believe they took this man's spear. I couldn't find it anywhere. And it was my favorite one, too. Implying the ownership of many. <laughs> oh, Wolfie, you tune back in when I say naked? <laughs> Our third issue is we've been at. Yeah, is we've been stuck in this giant glue trap for three hours now. Oh, no, I guess they'll have to drink Shinri's breast milk so to survive. Given how lovingly he cherishes his spears, this is indeed a tragedy. Shinri gives Vesper a sympathetic pat on the shoulder. Yeah. Hmm. Well... Haka pulls out his dual spears. Separating them, he offers one side to Vesper. Aww. Here, you can use this one. Ah, the little cute face in the blushy. But Haka, you, your double attack helps make up for the low HP. You're a speedy bruiser. You need those. Look, oh, no, 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 I, I couldn't. This is yours. What if I... Really, Vespi, it's fine. Take it. An earlier image of a guildmate's lying still and glassy... Eyed flashes through Haka's head. Oh, because he, yeah. He shakes it away and offers the spear more insistently. Besides, I think I'd feel better too if you had a way to defend yourself. Makes sense. Vesper hesitates for a second before taking the spear gently. He holds it almost reverently, like he's handling Haka's firstborn. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. I think Haka would make a great dad. It's not about the Russian text movie, it's about the Mets! <laughs> it's both funny and very sweet. It is very sweet. And Haka chuckles internally at how serious he's being. So cute. Thank you, Haka. I 
promise I'll take good care of her. Item lost. Double sphere. Item get single sphere. <laughs> Item get single sphere. Just as that hand off occurs. Oh, and the face moves. Nice, 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 nice. It's a hand off occurs. All three of them are started by a horrifically loud squeal. What the hell? <laughs> Beside him, Shinri looks around before zeroing in on something off in the distance. He points at a shambling, approaching mass. Look, over there. It's a bunch of monsters. And in front, that looks like a... I, I'm trying to do deeper, but I also have a hard time doing... Inflections? Because <laughs> my voice sounds like this normally, so... A boar? A pig? M's good eatings. <laughs> Ahead, leading a herd of other creatures, a sizable boar. Oh, steps out of the darkness. It's just phantom. <laughs> He's pig shaped. It snorts and lets out a low, distorted growl. Out of its body, just. Out of its body, juts. Okay, I misread that. Juts several iridescent crystals. Like impaling him, or like it grows out of him? Instinctively, the three bring out their weapons, and the boar roars, boar noises, and charges. That's charging noises. Here they come. I feel like a spear is perfect for a boar, because at a distance, and then, because I think that's what it's meant. It's a boar hunting spear. That was the reference. That's because that's because I I know about spears being perfect for boars because of Vesper. Is that why this one's a boar? Because Vesper talked about it and how his spear is a boar hunting spear? Am I smart? <laughs> or at least I can remember a thing? Okay, let's. Giant boar. Slim. These don't have faces, so clearly they are not friendly flags. <laughs> oh, this is a big map. Is that a vestie? Concept bat. <laughs> okay. Blah, 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 this message. Yes. I don't think. Oh, I think this is the area where they had a glitch and Haka ended up up here. I mean, Haka's a tengu. He should have big jumpies. Underground cave pondering my bats. Concept bat. Victory conditions. Defeat the giant boar. Lose conditions. Everyone is dead. I know it says defeated, but. Well, I guess we do have some signs of life down here after all. Is that a bunch of chests up there? We gotta kill some slimes. Eh? Huh? I guess that's an interpretation for this thing. It's no beast we can't handle, though. Whatever it is, it's definitely not friendly. Play burr phase. I can go this way, right? Is the Sleem gonna attack the Vespi? Or I mean, the concept bat? <laughs> I hope not. Okay, how this movement isn't too bad. Actually, let's... He really doesn't only have the bow, even though it says it's a secondary weapon, but that's his only weapon, so like, what? Spear. I'm looking at what we have in our items. If you're telling me this seems... Okay. Huh. Okay. Ooh, these slimes look dangerous. They do! I will proceed with caution. Move them a bit more over the heating crystal. No! Come to me, Vestie! You should 
have Hakka be a little bit more forward because he doesn't have the range like Shinri does. Why did... Oh, was it a corrosive crystal? Was why that one time got hurt? Talk. Actually, um, let's move him to this side. Talk. Comes up there! That bet there doesn't seem inclined to attack. Oh, wait. It's just sh that bet there that doesn't seem inclined to attack. Does anyone else hear the strange sound? Is that a signal? It sounds oddly familiar. There's a high-pitched noise coming just from the direction of the bat in question. Oops, they forgot a space. Further investigation concludes the sound is originating directly from the small creature. It sounds like eee! <laughs> Sorry, I had a noise. Hey, Vesper, it's staring right at you. It's definitely making that noise at you, but I don't understand what it could be trying to say. It's going, eee! <laughs> the bat flies towards Vesper, accepting the offer to land on his arm. Almost immediately, the cry evolves into a loud, Ooh, eh, eh. It's because they miss you. You sound just like my Vesties. <laughs> Oh, that's why it sounds so familiar to me. But it's not a Vesti, right, Vesper? I'll be honest, I don't recognize it. It's not one of my Vesties, but it still feels like one. Huh. Aw, oh, don't cry. I mean, I miss him. I miss Vesper and Magni very much. Well, whatever it is, it seems like it wants to stay with you. What do you think? Should we take it with us? fans, the concept of the fans and their love for you manifesting. The bat flaps its tiny knees, <laughs> abandoning the scholar's arm to relocate to atop Vesper's hair. Aww. It soon settles itself, but it doesn't intend on leaving. Anytime soon. I don't think I'm the one to make those decisions. It's just a little guy and already made up its mind. I don't want it to think I hate it. So true. Bring along the concept, bat. The concept of a bat, it is ours, acquired. I don't get concept bat. He's got like the colors of a vesti. I just think his icon looks a little wonky. <laughs> I do love the little avatars of our children. It's supposed to have taken. Well, I mean, obviously, it took. Such an unbelievably long amount of time, but also it must have taken such a long amount. Why is Vesper hurt? When that happened? I can't use it on. Okay, I'm thinking.
the slime hit back. That's what I'm guessing. Okay. Yippee! Wait. If it's too hard to run up, and does that mean Haka doesn't have a critical line? Because it won't play if... We'll find out. Curses. Ah, boy! Ah, Sleen! Where is that freaking... Well, yeah, but how... Okay. I'm thinking. I'm using my big Milby brain. <laughs> and yes, I do have a big Milby brain! Healing crystal. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. If I hit, I can kill either of them, so... Yo, is this what you have to deal with? Yo, is this what you have to deal with? <laughs> Ooh, nice critical! I was like, that was really funny to me! <laughs> okay, they can't move it. Trying to figure out because I could put Shinri here, I could put Haka on a healing crystal instead, but. Yeah, I can't attack close range like that. Can I. Yeah. Talking to the slime, yeah, you have to deal with me. <laughs> and then we'll be okay. Healing crystal. Thank you, Tactical Elysium, for putting so many healing crystals. You knew I am dumb. <laughs> I want all the things. Can the board just get his bacon butt down? Oh, I need more healies. Healies on wheelies. Soon it is time. He could take control. Whatever the heck that meant. Leaving here doesn't matter to me at all. I can remain close to the stars here. So 
hollow stars? The hollow stars? But you're in a cave, so I can't be the stars in the sky, right? Vader granted me what I wanted after I told him about how I felt connected to these caverns. He pierced a piece of the crystal into me. Are these, like, the mascots they've gone, like, hmm. So, like, he, he was in, this was from an old venture, and then the leader put a crystal in it, and now they, like, look like Vetus Altair, but now they're evil, because the cave is evil. You following what I'm thinking? I don't know. He's making me a part of his power, too, he said. This way we can always be of use to him, together. Use? That's a bad way to put it. It's a mean way, I should say. It gives him comfort. And me as well. Aww. The journal has been updated. Well. But, oh, wait. That's a corrosive crystal, isn't it? Okay, we don't... Hee <laughs> hee. Back to the... I'm gonna have him wait. Go away, boy. these chests. Look at all of them! That's a lot of treasure! Um, Shin Wee Wee, can you... Woohoo! Man, Shin Wee's just knocking it out of their freaky frackin' park! <laughs> I don't want them to get too far away from Shin Wee Wee. So I'm gonna... But I want them to go around this way, too. I want those treasure chests, gosh diggity dang it. No talking in between them. Wait, how much HP does the boar have? 60. Okay, he's not too bad compared to the dragon, at least. Wait, can they talk? No. Uh, wait, can they talk? No. Ah, fudge. My swoon. By the power of mushrooms, I am speedy! Three mean. Hmm. What does the three mean? Three, wait, well, oh, the upper, oh, yeah, I like the date. Perhaps a mimic among the treasure. Oh, no, you're right, actually, hold on. Wait, what? Did I get hurt or something? I saw a number pop up. We are outrunning that boar, baby! Maybe there's more uh, journals in there, maybe. Oh, chest, 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 chest. Chest was empty. Like mine! It's just face. <laughs> wow, frickle frack. Hopefully this gives me enough space to open these before the boar gets to us. should be like battle. <laughs> um, stand on mushroom. Okay, 
Don't leave Shin Wee Wee behind. Ah! What? The mushrooms hurt! Yep. Okay, um. I want that chest, and if we kill the boar, I don't get to have that chest. Which is. Unacceptable. Oh gosh! Why does he have such a big range? What the hell is the boar throwing at us? Better in a full body cast and Phantom tending to him. Yeah, Phantom has like a little like nurse's nurse's cap on him. Yuck, 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 yuck. No, 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 no! Oh, Shinwi! Shinwi! Haka can move the fastest. I'm sending him on his own. But the mushroom's poison. Vesper's 39, Shinri has 31. Okay, Vesper's a bit beefier. What they're both gonna be, there's a chance they're gonna wait. What I don't know. there's a chance they're both gonna be hit anyway. Um, okay, can you defend? Nope, tremor. Oh, that sounds not good, but it says it has an attack of 10 and a hit of 30, so hopefully we'll be okay. Yeah, good dodge. bad. Okay, so it's less about the boss and more about trying to get all the diggity dang chests in time. Oh man, I don't think we're getting that blue chest, fellas. Oops. Uh, rush down. That doesn't sound good, but it's also not giving me any info about it. When you sniff the void, sometimes the void sniffs back. <laughs> Fuck! I mean, great job, Shinri. That's not on you, but like, when you sniff the void, sometimes the void sniffs back. <laughs> Is it me? Am I sniffing? Oh. Oh, crap. I don't think I have any chopsticks. There they go. I don't think they'll be coming back anytime soon. Oh. There they go. I don't think they'll be coming back anytime soon. <laughs> Bit quick to run, huh? I wonder why they came charging all of a sudden. The door! <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to play it again sometime! Wait, Wallen! Take that, you! Haka taunts the dead boar with a con conservative amount of cursing in both Spanish and English. <laughs> Not a liberal amount, a conservative amount? Ha, huh, there he goes. Guess that means you're alright then. The first query, Haka calms down, turning to face him and Shinri. As he opens his mouth to answer, however, he winces and rubs at his right arm. Oh, Haka. Mm, yeah, I'm alright. Just a little sore, I think. Shinri observes the movement, and he shares a glance with Vesper. Aww, he looks worried. Despite the mutual concern, neither comments on it. Yeah. That's good. Well, before you found us, we were trying to figure out how to find the rest of the guild. Did you hatch any... Bleh. Did you hatch any ideas? Hatch? Like from an egg? All heights, thank you. Not done. I got... I got handed some food and I can smell it and I'm hungry and it's delicious and thank you! Uh, maybe? I don't know if you two still have yours. I have their what? Vesper fishes around in his coat pocket before producing something, holding it up. 
but I still have my guild communicator. You have one of those? Sounds handy. Will it get a uh, reception question mark in the cave? Whoa, really nice. I totally don't have mine. I think it dropped out of my pocket when I fell. <laughs> I totally don't have mine. <laughs> Haka for the role of Sonic in the next Sonic game, actually. Oh, I'm gonna take a bite of something. I'm so sorry that I'm eating on stream. I know it's not good content, but I'm very hungry. Oh, that's nice. When has Miobi been content? I mean, technically always. Whether I'm good or not is debatable. Good content. Yeah, exactly. Also, hurtful. <laughs> Keep your strength up for the boys. I'm doing it for them. I don't stop. Hello, Stagian! Daisuke! And mine's definitely a goner after I landed on it. Lucky you saved yours. Well, don't say lucky yet. <laughs> I still don't know if it works. Magical reception. He fiddles around with it for a bit. Eventually, a low static emits it. Thank you for the hearts! Hello, Guild Tempest? Is anyone out there? This is Vesper speaking. Over. They fall silent, listening. But there is only static. Maybe they just lost or broke their communicators, too? Vesper pulls a face, brow fur furrowing, as he bites his lip. Maybe, but it seems unlikely I'm the only one whose communicator survived. I mean, again, cave. <laughs> No, I think it's a connection issue. This, this abyss is a dead zone. Even if they're down here, they couldn't hear us either way. This is what they get for cheaping out on the phone plan. <laughs> Again, Tempest is constantly broke, so what choice did they have? Haha, <laughs> bite your lips more. Ahaha, <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> Well, uh, chat, are you... Uh, my stars, you're just gonna sexualize that old man? Good. <laughs> yes. A heavy quiet settles around them, each mulling in their own thoughts. Vesper turns the communicator off, tucking it back into his pocket. That seems to break the spell of silence, and Shinri clears his throat. Bingo, next question. <laughs> okay, okay. Better get moving. We shouldn't hang around too long in case more giant boars come knocking. I mean, apparently they're not hard to fight. <laughs> but I won't get the chests! Then he gives them a reassuring smile, as he is known to do. They'll be okay, guys. They're resourceful. Let's just hope for their safety. And that we see them again soon. Right, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Ah, oh, look at these two dads and their son! I love it! Hoping to reunite with their guildmates safe and sound, the three delve back into the unknown. So it's gonna be Betel with Fleon and Axel, right? Unbeknownst to them, hidden in the dark, something watches them go. Something with bright eyes and a black heart. Phantom? <laughs> Betel? No! <laughs> End of Act 2. This is good music for a cave setting, I feel like. Nice. Okay, hold on, hold on. Gotta eat some more. Oh man, I can't read that! That's kanji! You couldn't have put a translation with! Act writer, Draco. Conversation writer, Draco. Artist! I'm sorry. Fading in and out of consciousness, Axel struggles to awaken. Phantom has only one eye. That's true. 
Vesper and Shinri holding both of Hakka's hands and swinging him. Oh, He deserves it. Or just not Draco. Oh, I mean, I can tell that much. <laughs> Fading in and out of consciousness, Axel struggles to awaken. What appears to be an unfamiliar voice echoes. Little buddy. That's better with Phantom, isn't it? Just hang on, little buddy. Oh no, is Phantom okay? Phantom is just moving back and forth really fast for two eyes. Yeah, the second eye is his after image. <laughs> like Koro Sensei. But you know what? I kind of want to reread. It's been long enough that I don't totally remember the, the major plot points of or, like, I don't remember a lot of the details more of, of assassin Assassination Classroom. And I want to revisit it. Hmm. Or oh, he's looking into a mirror. Hey, that would work real well. One of the crystals could work as a mirror. Show, show, I was gonna say, show me the man! But that's not the man I'm talking about! Who? Please, be safe. I'll find you again, I promise. Where? Hey, yo. <laughs> Dick and balls? <laughs> After struggling with his aching body that yearns for more rest. Oh, me too, dude. Axel comes too. Standing up slowly, he looks around where he had fallen. Axel had landed on a ridge overlooking an underground lake. Wada! I thought it was a fun manga. It's on my reread list. Very nice. I, I really liked it, too. I remember, I really like, of course, Nagisa and Karma. And then, um, late introduction Itona was really cute. I'm gonna eat this real fast. Hold on. Oh! Did this one get picked out because Tempura is in it? The food BB picked up for me is tempura sushi, and I'm just now putting together because it's Tempest, and I'm a tempura. Wow, it's thematic! Thank you. Below him, crystal shines with completely still and clear water. Oh, they're underwater? That's gotta be so pretty. It holds meaning! <laughs> At the bottom of the lake is a gravelly shore littered with several... Wait, at the bottom of the lake is a shore. Alligators? <laughs> yeah, Aussie man! <laughs> several quote-unquote alligators dot the shore beneath where Axel had landed. On the shore, underneath the lake. Okay. What's happening? Also, Bebo! Oh, his gloves aren't on. When was... No, it had to have been. I was gonna say, it has to have been in development. Um... Since before Bettle's outfit reveal. Because that's when we learned his, his hands are kind of fucked up! <laughs> A few have turned their heads toward Axel, but make no attempts to climb up and make their him their meal. Did did Bettle land like right in the middle of all of them? <laughs> in the distance, a voice more familiar than the previous one echoes. Axel strains his ears. Also, there's a lot of greenery. Wait a minute. Buddy, where are you? Alligator ate Phantom. Betsy! <laughs> Gerber baby! God's blessing! Gentle boy! <laughs> Phantom! Where are you, buddy? You're not Phantom. Axel, you're here! Have you seen Phantom?
Phantom? Mm, no, I have not. Cater's gotta eat. <laughs> oh no. Do not eat. Yeah, well, maybe eat Phantom. But do not eat Bebel. He does not have a lot of skin on his bones. He would not make a tasty meal for you. For the battalion, however, he is a full three course meal. <laughs> Phantom got lost again. Man, can't have shit. <laughs> can't have shit in Elysium. Jeez. Phantom would cause indigestion. I I believe that. Accept it as canon. <laughs> no, I'm not. Are you sure? Bro, I walked uh, halfway around this lake and I haven't seen him. Just some Alice. Alright, if he wasn't on your half of the lake and he wasn't on my half, he's not paying attention. I'm gonna guess he hasn't found anyone else. <laughs> He's looking for Phantom. He, he doesn't know what to do without Phantom. He, he'll he be too nervous looking to try and look around more outside the area for other people. He needs his buddy with him. Phantom's his emotional support, little guy. <laughs> it's his little guy. Yeah! <laughs> Phantom face down the middle. <laughs> face down in the lake, lifeless. <laughs> yeah. No point sticking around. Those scaly shits might be after us. I made it past the land bridge. Axel and Bettle venture into the cave system. Not long after entering, the pair come to a fork in the path. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Something about with the open mouth, it makes it feel like, uh... I can see... Wiki how stealing this image to trace over it and it's for like a uh, article like how to identify alligators or something like that you know <laughs> i think it's something about the slightly more realistic shading and the obviously like fantastic background that makes me giggle <laughs> Also, there's a fork. I only see the one road. A fork in the path. This cave's been twisting for a bit. I think we might be in some kind of maze. Ha! <laughs> no sweat! Me and Shinri have mastered mazes at this point. Oh! From... We were here. Battle, I think Shinri mastered the maze. You... You survived! Charges at the path directly ahead. Yeah, that sounds about right. After a few seconds, Battle runs back to the junction. <laughs> Dead end. <laughs> Come on, Max, look! Yeah, I can see it from here. <laughs> Alright then, right it is! Comes back dead end. <laughs> Once again, Battle charges, this time to the right path. And once again, Battle returns. Did I call it? Also a dead end. <laughs> Watch, but if Axel walks down it, it's all of a sudden not a dead end. I thought so. There's a draft coming from the left here. But we tried the left path. What? Alright then, follow my lead! Or is it like a three-way fork? Hold on! <laughs> the Vanguard Expedition Leader, everyone! Something smells like... Sniff, 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 sniff. Bull. Don't tell me. Did you mean like bullshit? Or did it's like, like a bull? Have they tried behind the waterfall? Yeah, there's gonna be a treasure chest behind that, come on! Oh man, are we really just doing it with these two? What is that thing? I'm sorry, is that a lizard? I gotta eat this big piece. It's got the tail. Oh! Ah, my mouth's too small. I suck. 
concept lizard. Oh, this is going to be the axolotls? Concept lizard. Alligator. Alligator. Just wait. I have a light. What is that? Impassable. Boss gator. And these are corrosion. No, impassable. Hmm, boss gator looks hard. I'm not the only one that thinks that little flickery spot has to be something, right? So it would take a lot to get over there. Someone's message. Another chest. Big mushroom. More gators. Okay. Well, I want the chests. Because I be like that. Axel has a good amount of HP, so I'm not super worried. Oh, it says range one, but the chain gives two. Hmm. Go to the chest first. I'm gonna try! I feel lucky! <laughs> that joke's funnier than me. The Chester! Wait, what do you mean? It's real! What's real? I know that's like part of the quote, but I'm trying to remember... Rip your whip, so yeah, I got one too. Jerry says hi. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant. Nope. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, do they. What's the range on the gators? What? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bonus speed plus 15. Okay, I'm double checking because I want to make sure there's no. Why so lucky? The Jester! <laughs> I want to make sure there's no. Splashback damage? <laughs> no repercussions, no recoil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it doesn't really specify. Like, also having to. Whoop, I'm so sorry, I knocked my microphone. Also learning, like, the mushrooms did damage. I didn't see that in the drawer and all, so. Hit a hundred. Hit is a hundred! Well, it's a bomb. The five... Th uh, sorry. The five... Uh, threw it near Axel. Like, an enemy in front of Axel. Would Axel get hurt? Battle would have splash damage to himself. Yes! <laughs> oh! Wait! His whip is only a range of one? That doesn't sound right. It's a whip. Should be at least two. Okay. okay. Uh, The Sage. Oh. You can use the information details about their state and the Corrupted Tartarus. Whoa, wait, what? Am I not supposed to be seeing this on the item description? <laughs> Unusable item. Okay, well. I can't access the convoy, huh? Yuck. That means... Crap! Okay, so no potions except for what Beto has on him. Beto uses Splash. It's super effective. Beto has fainted. Beto, so he used, like, a uh, struggle. <laughs> Aw, he's a little magic cut. So, we might be, uh, fucked when it comes to items. Um, shoot. I guess we just gotta give it a go! Let's go! Yatta! Banzai! Otsustais! <laughs> yes. Shoot. 
shoot, more alligators coming from behind us. Why did I make them southern? What? Petal has fainted. I just read that. I just saw Petal has fainted again. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Ah! Where did they come from? Five beat first is what he would do. Head first? <laughs> in all water? How well can Battle swim? All I remember is that he hates the beach. <laughs> They're probably the ones that were sniffing at my feet while I was out. Thank you for the hike. Y'all need to get off my ass for real. <laughs> How are we gonna get through this? By performing your little jester heart out. <laughs> Slowly, picking off the alligators in front of us while fighting back the alligators behind us. Just stay close together and we'll get through this. Man, if only we had help. Sinks like a rock. I could believe it. I mean, I already sink like a rock because I really don't have a lot of body fat. So I just blah, 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 blah. And Bettle strikes me as also someone who is scaly mode, <laughs> as one would call it. So I imagine he'd sink like a rock too. Escape, defeat boss gator. Whiskers, everyone died. Okay. I'll, I don't really plan on escaping unless we get really in a pinch. So. Those biscuits were pretty good. <laughs> the dog treats he ate! Wait, does this line only come up if you used the dog treats like earlier on? Are those the ones in those bacon smelling boxes we get at the guild every now and again? <laughs> Aw, that old smiley face is so cute. Thank you for the hearts. I see them. They're popping up on my screen. Yep, every month Phantom loves them. Axel dot dot dot. I mean, you at least know Beto won't judge you. Well, he will, but like, you could like snap back at him. He ate a dog treat on stream. He ate, he was more willing to eat a dog treat than he was willing to eat a taco. <laughs> so they're dog treats. <laughs> you fed me dog treats. <laughs> My battle fed it too! You fed me dog <laughs> Yep! <laughs> and you ate them without questioning! They were shaped like bones! Axel looks so sad. I mean, he ate a dog treat. And now Flayon recently has joined the the crew by accidentally eating a cat treat on his hand cam. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of cat treat it was. Hopefully it wasn't a churu, because I can't imagine that would taste good. You know I'm not a dog, right? Hey, yo! <laughs> S-tier biscuits. I, rockets, do you know this from, like, personal experience? Listen, this is the best healing we're gonna get down here until we find the others. Close enough to a dog. I mean, he's a dingo. <laughs> Compared to the rest of Giltip, his battle stats leave much to be desired. Yeah. And I say that with just the fattest, reddest heart in my sentence. <laughs> Listen! We can't all be caked up and have big packs or giant mechas! <laughs> we can't all be caked up. Bro, none of you are caked up. Your mamas gave none of you cake. Your mom has committed a hate crime to your asses. But Battle does have a special ability. Uh, cute aggression? <laughs> no, this music does slap. Try moving Battle next to Axel and choose perform. I do like this music. Form. Like a magic trick? I have plenty of those, but what will that do? Cute face! <laughs> Item get magic trick! Well, we used it like before, right? What button did 
do I have to press in this game to give Beto a smooch on the cheek? <laughs> I see the heart. Thank you very much. Hey, Axel, watch this. Gators on all sides. Watch me pull a uh, ever-ending handkerchief from my sleeve. Which is funny because his sleeve is tucked into those gloves. <laughs> Battle sticks his hand inside his hat. <laughs> Pulls out his whole human skull. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Ta da! Battle pulls out a receipt from the grocery store? <laughs> Wait, that, that's not. <laughs> my hand hurts from heart. Aw, Wolfie, thank you. Suddenly, an obscene amount of tomatoes falls out of the sleeve of the opposite arm. <laughs> Damn, Betsy, you always impress with your tricks. <laughs> Alright then, my turn to do something cool. Let's take another action. It's like, oh man, that was lame as hell. I better work extra hard to make up for it. <laughs> Battle's perform ability allows other members of Guild Tempest to move and take another action in the same turn. I feel like this is very fitting music for both Axel and Battle. Both of us were charged on company card. <laughs> this is ability to move slower members faster, or for stronger members to take down more enemies. Well, I need to talk to the concept lizard first. As much of a sentence as that is. Who is the closest to doing me harm? Okay. Funky? Okay. Actually, what is... Honestly, his stats aren't that bad. He's got really high speed and stuff. Level 6. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. His luck's 23, which is good, but like honestly, the fact that it's not his max stat is surprising. No, I guess, you know, having to put in stats manually would be very difficult. Honestly, no stats aren't the worst. He's just not meant, he's just not made for attacking, and that's fine. Okay, concept lizard. All right, who's next? You? I mean, we haven't hit anyone yet. <laughs> Sweet fold them running in without thinking. Yeah! Get those long getaway sticks moving, boy! Whoa, slow down there. I don't think this little guy's with the others. Hey there, little fella. What's a guy like you doing? <laughs> so me. Ah, he's bad at me! Feisty little guy, ain't he? Let me give it a shot. I would guess be playful? If it, I feel like Axel's would be like, flex on him, dunk on the haters, and talk about how you're dumb and stupid and how great you are. <laughs> I've seen how he treats his axolotls. <laughs> Axel grabs the lizard by the tail and starts tossing it into the air. Yeah, that seems right. The lizard seems to be having fun. <laughs> Dope. Cannon? Oh. No, I can't do anything with it. Okay. If I take out... If Axel takes out th this guy, then Beto will be safe. Oh, but I only get to talk one. Okay, fine, we'll do that. I want to see the conversation. Axel Serious. Uh, my ass is still sore. <laughs> How are you holding up, Betsy? Me, just Dandy. Bust off some slimes to manage to pull away before they knew what hit them. Only bashed my head into a rock once, so pretty much a good day. <laughs> Well, I mean, he fell down the stairs, and the stairs were worse for wear rather than he was. 
his, his <laughs> apparently his actually fat ass that <laughs> cushioned the ball. Battle caked up truther 2024. <laughs> God, you really are the lucky one. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Speed and luck. Hell yeah, conversation boosts are temporary. Why did I play this for the first time? Temporary stat boosts that can be applied to Guild Tempest. Yeah. Most conversations will unlock after completing certain objectives. Okay. Or when a Tempest member is under status effects. Oh, interesting. It's important to foster relationships between your fellow guild members. Always keep them close together. And that's the battle, in which case, you know, keep them a little bit at a distance so they don't get super dead. And if you're facing a tough opponent, talk to each other. Even just a little boost can mean the difference between victory and defeat. That's cute. I chose that other 1% conversation boost. Nice. Fuck them up, Enzo! Big number. Nice. A Miku amount of damage. That is 39. Oh, so he's gonna do whatever he's gonna do. Okay. Uh, are these? They're healing themselves. Dope, 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 dope. <laughs> One hit Carol. Double kill. Triple kill! So dead. Oh, I can talk more. Ooh. Ah. I want the conversation, so I guess we're not. Okay. These things are huge. How long do you think they are? I'd say three meters, give or take. Can I get those in uh freedom units? <laughs> How long does that have feet? Yeah! <laughs> we dummies have to stick together! Like, 10 feet, maybe? Huh. This is more like they've got four feet on them. Oh! Empty <laughs> <MT> up? <laughs> I would love it if, like, oh my gosh! Um, Axel gets, like, an attack bonus for that because he's just pissed off. The chest is there for the taking! Get something that's so far away. I'm gonna put Bebel here. Is this concept lizard gonna be okay? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, we can talk more. Oh, that might be nice while everything's spawning. This fight is making me thirsty. <laughs> Maybe we could put one of those alligators in a blender. Take a sip of that. That'll would you? That sounds disgusting. <laughs> Why? You've never heard of gator? <laughs> Stop. Keep this conversation stream saying that. <laughs> Axel of all people saying that? The world must be ending. We are quickly outnumbered. But we have uh, the cutest man in the world and Axel. We should be fine. Right. <laughs> I like that these two are like the, the yappers. Exhausted. Wait, wait, wait. Why can some of these gators move more? Oh well. I don't want Concept Lizard to have to take the brunt on his own. Oh, the tomatoes can only fend off so many gators. <laughs> oh! I can talk to the Concept Lizard? That's offers impassioned and expletive-filled encouragement. 
The lizard seems amused by the big man's funny words. <laughs> You scaly fucks! No damage! Fuck you! No damage! Fuck you too! No damage! Fuck you three! Level up! Okay, good thing Axel's with that Betty. <laughs> Betsy. Conversations, so everyone keeps getting stat boosts. <laughs> what do you think of the game design so far? I think it's very nice. It's very crisp. Uh, it's very understandable and easy to to read and easy to navigate. I would say um, in configuration, if they could put uh, a button guide, because for people who don't play RPG Maker style games, they might not know what are the proper buttons to hit. But they also have mouse compatibility, so it's not like unnecessary. I do think it's very cute. I like how talking gives boosts. It's good. I do wish... But they would have to find someone to, on the team who would be able to put in all the work. I wish the uh, battle sprites were... looked like them. Even if they kept like the animations or just kind of painted over the base sprites, it'd be nice to, to have them look like themselves. I, I do understand that is a, a, a tremendous amount of work to do for, you know, eight different characters. And then, like, the mascots, too. And no, this is very cute. And I feel like the all the boys are very in character. The surface from here. Now that you mention it. No, I was gonna say, what if we could, uh... I don't know how we would, but like, what if we could, um, 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 um recruit Tubert? That'd be cute. Or like, Haka Bro! <laughs> hey, Axel. What do you get when you cross a smartass with a fisher? I don't know, Battle. What do you get? I don't know, an ass crack? <laughs> gonna go with sarcasm, but that was pretty good. <laughs> Cute. Look at that smile. Hey, Tactical Elysium, if you ever uh, work on another one of these projects, you should hit me up for artwork stuff. all of my own is very different, but I, I have thought of some fan game stuff. It's just software time and knowledge is not plentiful for me, along with money. <laughs> Jerry says hi. Ah, he's a dancer. I gotta draw Beto as a dancer, class. I 
Axel with the most ripped arms, slaying thousands of gators. <laughs> I don't even have rip high knowledge, is why I suggest. I do. Um, even a short one though is a very large amount of work. But maybe I would have to think of a really good original story to do with them for that. But I'll think about it. Maybe when I have less on my to-do list. <laughs> Talk to concept wizard. See. Did I be insured? Did I inspire? I think I inspired, right? I'm trying to remember. Dating sim, but you can't date any of them both. No! Then what's the point? <laughs> I feel like if we. Well, I haven't actually played the doppelganger visual novel, so I don't really know how that ends. Being some wee plays that'll trying to date the other characters. Ah! That'd be cute. So real life. Ouch. <laughs> Axel caresses a lizard with a gentle but firm hand. Aw. Easy now. Must be rough living down here. We're not from around here, so you you don't have to worry about us. What? Lizard relaxes to Axel's touch, rubbing up against his palm. Aw. Ah, that's a good little guy. Look at that. I think he likes you. You look jealous, Bill. <laughs> this little guy had it tough. Things found by mofos bigger than him. Seems he wants to hang by the strongest one. Alright, you can stick by us if you want. Item get! Concept lizard! He is an item. There we go. Okay, so I needed to do... Okay. Oh, crap! Bevel's in the open now, though! Ah, Bevel! No, 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 no! Oh, thank goodness! Hold up! I like your funny dance, Jester Man! Hand touching, how could they? What? Concept Lizard, get! Okay. Well, that makes sense. I'm actually gonna wait and let some of the gators impale themselves on Axel's fists. <laughs> Gator! Punch! Gator punch! Gator kiss! Cease! I wish I could know how far they would be after I move. The statues keep growing, and those are now just blobs of blue light. They have replaced the stars from outside. It seems the leader is assimilating to his dungeon in a way. He stares at the crystals and they morph with his gaze. He's recreated our home. Images of our friends, and he supplies me with materials to draw and write. He says I should try to keep myself together for a bit longer. 
I don't understand. Why can't I just die? Oh, why can't I? I escaped the forever burning crystalline light. Why? Why won't this dungeon just finally claim me too? Peter is the only one tying me together now. Always tied? Oh, this is sad. Can y'all, like, not? Please? Should be okay. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 uh. Is he not? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I gotta protect him from the brunt of it. Will affect the gator population. <laughs> oh, okay. I gotta take out that guy. I still can't get the chest because all the gators.
Well, I'll be, he'll be on healing crystals, so hopefully he'll be okay. Uh. That'll have more health. <laughs> Please. You're killing me here, small. Smalls. <laughs> Danger. Sorry, buddy. You gotta wait here. Actually, I'll move him here. Wait, what? You die. You had one jump at all. <laughs> I did die.
what if I put him right in the way? Punch. Yeah. Okay. He's level 11, so he's already like five levels ahead of everyone. <laughs> Bodybuilder for seeks by the end of the act. It's gonna be ripped as hell. I top it! Let's fucking go! <laughs> we have for a 29% chance, we're like finding criticals on every hit. Yeah! Which is overkill, but fantastic. Oh, it's worth it. Ah! Their attack, zero. Their hit rate, zero. Their critical rate, zero. <laughs> Fuck them up! level battle <laughs> but it would be great punch <laughs> freaking no contest here to the side because at this rate we're never gonna get out of here so I might go around to get the um skill hat trick I just the battle while in the inventory grants a passive skill hat trick what to do 100% always strikes for oh that's nice. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm glad we got it. Yeah, yeah. about boss gator yeah they're not just spending uh spending spawning endlessly so 
So we just gotta keep that hat in our inventory. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> Back on the bridge. Yeah. Think about it. If everyone has managed to make their way down here, then surely other stuff might have fallen down here too. That's true. Is that what the little light thing is? But it's right past the boss gator, and if we kill the boss gator, then it's... Th then, then it ends. I have to get to the exit. I have no idea how many more will come. Isn't that supposed to be battle's line? Then we'll keep messing them up as they come. Just back me up, Betsy. We'll be fine. Yeah, that was an error. Only we had some help. What do you mean, help? You guys are a two-man army. That's what the boss gator is. I think we're gonna run? Do you think us cowards? For shame, Betol. Oh, this might be tricky though if they're coming from both directions and we have the boss gator. Hmm. Who needs help? Axel is the danger. Very true. It's really all about keeping Battle out of harm's way. <laughs> wow! Wait, did I- did, am I just not getting XP anymore? No, I still am, never mind. Level up! <laughs> It'd be funny if there was like, you get so strong that there's like, um... Like they say something about it. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is impassable. Okay, I can plan around that. Good design. Good design. <laughs> Wait. Corrosive crystal. Shit. That's gonna hold so many levels in him. This bad boy can fit so many levels in him. What if I... No, but that would... I'm thinking... It should be okay, right? I don't want him to stand on the corrosive crystal. Ooh, fuck him up! Keep my Oshi safe! Oh! What? Wait, what happened? What? Why are we poisoned? Huh? standing on corrosive crystals? What? That's what this symbol is, right? Corruption. All stats minus five. No! Our bonuses! Activated if within the radius of a certain crystal. So we were too close. Well, that's poopy. Axel's real strong though, and he'll be okay, right? Yeah, he's fine. Bam! Damn, they got us good, yeah. They played me for a chump! What else was I supposed to do? Oh, that one actually has some attack behind him. Hit. Oh god, these glowing crystals are here. It sucked not being able to see. <laughs> Maybe. Might want to stay away from them, though. What? What is that? Don't 
you feel weird being near one? <laughs> yeah, I fucked up. And you can't hold your weapon right, or your legs feel heavier? Can't make a guy like me any weaker, can you? Oh, Pebble! Oh, don't say that! that I don't know why, but him saying that, like, phrased like that, just hurts my heart. And his face. Nah, don't say that, no, man. Yeah! <laughs> Trust me, that's with information on corruption. I feel like it's especially deadly. Fuck! More corrosive? Shit! Fuck. They're freaking everywhere! Ah! <laughs> Basket is coming for us. Shane's, there doesn't don't seem to be any more reinforcements coming. Phantom! You hear him, buddy? Is Phantom the little spark up there we gotta get to? Fuck. Um Battle? <laughs> buddy? Dude, in what universe could that be Phantom? That's a friggin' boss alligator! Oh, is that what's happening? Can you get to the top of this bridge together and get the hell out of here? I swear, if you ain't Phantom, you're gonna get the business side of my whip, you little. <laughs> ah, fuck! Why can it move so much all of a sudden? No, 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 no! Oh! Hold on, wait. It's not enough to kill it. Fuck. Wait, did that say? No. Um, shit, 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 shit. I had did his job. Did it? Because he didn't get to attack first. The picture attack is complete yet again, unfortunately. Oh, fuck! Hey, fellas! We don't want to put him by the cross of crystals more. Oh, battle! Really want to get him onto a healing crystal. boss. Oh, oh, I might pull off something stupid. Oh no, that won't work because Bettle will still- Fuck. I'll get the tombstone ready. Oh no. Wait. Ah, this will do nothing. Wait, the eight plus- hold on. No, but I can't attack with him and... Okay, um, um... Rate. We gotta risk it! 
a lily or two should do it. Oh, for the tombstone? Got a jet. Well, thank you so much for being here, Egg. I'll see you later. Or do you mean I got an eight? <laughs> I got it. Uh, I got a jet. Please, 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 please. Yuck! Oh, and we're right by Corrosive Crystal. Please, 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 please. I really need you to crit. Oh, Axel's looking worse for wear. Jeez, <laughs> fucking! <laughs> oh, we didn't get to see what the little light thing was, but we live. And Battle didn't die. That's the most important part. We did it, boys. The slick belongs to us now. I don't think that was the point. I need a minute. <laughs> Why'd that take us an hour? <laughs> But this it scurries up Axel, bouncing and licking him on the cheek. Yum, 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 yum. My herbs are sore as hell. You have them punching gators. Okay. <sighs> Little buddy. <sighs> We're alive, thanks to you. Thank you. Really? Well, I mean, he helped us out in the beginning, but then he did. Ah, I want to go home. Phantom. We will just lay down. Have a dog treat. <laughs> With our enemies that powerful down here, we have to meet up with the others ASAP. And Phantom, we have to save him. Yeah. Well, looks like he recovered. You're the new boss of this cave, little buddy. You won't have anyone messing with you again. <laughs> Shut up. I'm a happy battle left. See ya. Aw, he goes hit by the concept lizard. What's up? You want to come with? Should have given him like a noise or something. The lizard hops up and down. Yay, yay, yay. All right then, little buddy. With you and me, we'll be unstoppable. So, Flayon though. Who's Flayon with? Act writer, Felix Wolf. Chico? Is that how I said it? Or is it Kiko? Conversation writer, Felix Wolf. Wolf! Artist, Ebby7279. Nani Naku? <laughs> Nani Naku? <laughs> Nani! The soft light of crystals act like a soft guide up the strange cave system. The consoles to meet one another. Hi! <laughs> yeah! Altair and Magni still have no idea what's going on. Where they are and what purpose the strange place serves. They'll be way stronger and ready to take on the dragon, though, by the end of this. Still, finding their teammates is the highest priority. Despite their latest slime friend, they found a... Despite their latest slime friend, they found a few hours ago. Carrying the slime on his arms, Altair is in high spirits. Oh, maybe can't stop thinking about it. His... About this place. Sorry, who said that? Tell me, Altair. Does this little guy here look awfully a lot like your old venturers at the guild? It's attached to you like glue. I mean, you have a magmite right on you, <laughs> too. Why can't we use the mag? Well, okay, magmites don't have any offensive capabilities. <laughs> they don't have any defenses, so you can't even use them as like a tanky shield. They're more of 
Betel in that they're bait. Except they can't even perform like Betel can. But they are cute like Betel, so that, that's gotta be a stat boost, right? <laughs> ah, sorry, I needed a drink. Feels different though. My adventurers feel a bit warmer and their squishiness is also different. Less moist, but this slime. This slime is moist. <laughs> There's a difference between squishiness? Really? Why am I not surprised that you of all people know anything or know everything about slimes? Well yeah! He's the dad of all slimes. <laughs> the Lord of Slimes. Altair laughs, making the slime wiggle on his arms. <laughs> Sorry, hiccup, excuse me. They then they both fall quiet as they hear strange noises. Is it a squeak, 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 squeak? But I guess a concept magmite would be like a spider? Or maybe a um No, they have like It'd be a spider, right? Maybe an octopus because they're squishier. Did you hear that? Yep, loud and clear. Sounds awfully like those owls or goblins near a guild. Sometimes you can hear them passing us. Goblins just passed by? Thought you were in a city. Shush! <laughs> Shut up! Manny shushes his guild leader, pressing his finger against his lips, as he do. Hmm, <laughs> supple. <laughs> like he stops and be like, yo, bro, your lips are really supple. What chapstick are you using? <laughs> I feel like that'd be in character. <laughs> just then, three goblins pass by without noticing them. Whew, that was close. Too close for my taste. That's a... I don't know what it is about that kind of pained, exhausted expression, but it's it's very well done. Spider puss. <laughs> but do spider have puss puss? Tell me about it. I'm sick of this dungeon. So it's a dungeon. Maybe peeks after the goblins, noticing something about them. Hey, Altair. Again, when they flipped the the model, like the philosopher's stone, and everything's on the right side, very nice. Hmm, what is it, Des? <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay. Well, now we know. Thank you, science. <laughs> Those goblins there—they have the same crystals on their bodies as the ones on the wall, as the one on the ones on the walls. Do they? They do look familiar. They also look weirdly. Corrupted? Staticky? Yeah, just like on the floor where we found Squishy. Oh, he's named Squishy now? Wait, so it was corrupted and staticky by Squishy? Speaking of him, he seems to be unaffected by them. By the crystals? Any clue how that might be possible? And he looks first at the slime, then back to the goblins, who are screeching at each other. Oh, goblins notice now. Or the goblins are screeching with the other goblins. After a moment of thought, the alchemist shakes his head. Can't tell you that, bud. I have no idea, brother. <laughs> this whole dungeon here is a mystery to me. There's so many puzzle pieces that don't fit together. No matter how I twist and turn them. Altair looks down at his slime companion, then looks at the alchemist with a frown. I know that face. And my answer is no. <laughs> Put the slime upon my vivisection table. Huh? I didn't even say anything! <laughs> you stared at those crystals on the walls. <laughs> you won't touch them, and you definitely won't take them with you. Got it? We can't even take a sample with them? Hey, get out of my head, Altair! <laughs> Shh, be quiet, Des. I do think it's cute how Altair refers to Magni as Des. Not just in the game, but in like real life. <laughs> it's. I, I mean, you hear Vesper too, but it's it's cute because it feels like it's. It's a nickname that just uh, the headquarters uses for him. Eat the crystals. Yeah, eat the crystals. Crunchitize me, Captain. <laughs> Altair presses his finger over his own lips, shushing his friend. Ah. I want to cause as little ruckus as possible. 
Who knows what monsters might live here? Besides, when I had to drag your ass away from those crystals, my armor reacted. He dragged him away from- oh, when he was hurt? I'm worried for our guildmates. I'm gonna do everything I can to bring us all together again and out of here. Until then, we stick together. Alright, Des? <laughs> I eat Des? <laughs> now when you find something strange, you tell me. Uh, will he, though? <laughs> it's Magni! Yeah, 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 I got it, Altair. <laughs> it's too late, he already ate a crystal. <laughs> he has a crystal-shaped lump in his throat, like, I don't know what happened to him. The alchemist huffs, taking off his vambrace to itch his arm. Oh. That's why his ports are. I eat these nuts, no. Oh, no! He stops still for a few moments as he observes his revealed skin, and he's not gonna tell Altair. This boy has crystallism! That is a very obscure anime reference. His skin has turned blue with crystals that grow in a manner similar to the scales of a dragon. Oh, oh, Magmi. Someone ready up the next tofu clone. When he pokes it with his finger, the crystallized skin feels oddly rough. Well, yeah, it's crystals. The alchemist swallows, clenching his teeth, so that uneasy feeling in his stomach wasn't for nothing. Yeah, who would tell anyone that they are infected? What's gonna happen? They're gonna turn into zombie? I feel like... Magni would be more responsible in a zombie apocalypse, but... Because he doesn't want his friends... He knows what would happen, but for this he doesn't know what's gonna happen, and he doesn't want anyone to worry un... unnecessarily, so he just won't tell them. Tell him, Maggie! <laughs> when, Altair where? when Altair pipes up, his first instinct is to replace the Vambrace, acting casual, as he do. Des, you good? How could you do this to him? What, is it gonna be him and Vesper who have the infection things? Because I might cry. <laughs> I might actually cry. I took a shower today, and I was thinking about today's stream, and I was thinking about uh, Vespi and Mag- Vespi? <laughs> Vesper and Magni, and I almost got all teary-eyed. Yep, everything's good. Don't worry. Just a bit tired, that's all. LIAR! <laughs> Magni is half expected to be caught in his lie, but a tear doesn't seem to catch it. Much to his relief. He doesn't need to burden Altair with more worries right now. Of course you would think that, you bastard. <laughs> I, I say bastard affectionately. <laughs> Those crystals on his skin can wait. I don't think they can. Another group of five goblins walks past them, carrying something red over their shoulders. Red? Altair frowns. Doesn't that look awfully familiar to you? That's Fleance. It's one of his control panels. Oh, shit! Where's Fleon? Yeah, that's what I've been wondering, too! The guild leader carefully ventures forward. His comrade follows close behind. Dead body better not be! He's made it, what, 18,000 years? Can't die now to goblins! In a fall! Who is Magni gonna eat? Whose tummy is Magni gonna eat sushi off of if Fleon's dead? <laughs> As they follow the group, they see a makeshift camp. Houses built from all kinds of material. I said on impact a top phantom. No! I would imagine his other board would have caught him, right? Rocks from the walls, some dead wood, some skeletons. Ooh, scary! <laughs> and now, one of Flan's panels, which becomes a makeshift roof. <laughs> I'm sorry, goblins, we gotta take that back. It's not just junk. Where did they find that? Maybe we can capture one alive and force it to talk? I have ways to do that. Can goblins talk? Spooky, scary skeletons. Hooray, right? 
Just as the hero turns to Magni, he is distracted by a larger crystal at the camp. Together, they dare to venture a bit closer, trying to get a good glimpse of that crystal. Holy crap, this is a huge one! I wonder what made it so huge. Huh? Altair observes something unique at the foot of the crystal, pointing at it. Flay! Machina Vex Flayon! Oh! Altair's... Is his picture not supposed to be there? Of course goblins can talk. They say, oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> There's someone there. A human. Wait! That's Flayon! 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 He's here! At this camp! He's not dead! <laughs> Shoot, that is him. They must have found him and dragged him here. Oh yeah, it is really staticky around those crystals. Get him away from there. We uh, b The Flayon especially shouldn't be having... Uh, there shouldn't be any other staticky crystals, you know? You know? It is indeed Flayon who rests on the ground. His wrists tied behind his back and his eyes closed. Goblins can tie knots?! He has a few bruises on his head. Altair can't tell if it's from the fall or the goblins. But he knows he has to act quickly. Who knows how long Flan's been near that giant crystal? What if it's dangerous? Grabbing Magni by the wrist, he marches forward. Let's go, Des. We need to get him out quickly. No time for a plan. We can handle this. Quick today, eh? Sounds fine to me. Let's get him out of there. <laughs> Quick today, eh? <laughs> oh, this is a big map. Okay. I don't think we... Do we have any more inventories? I don't know. Alright, I'm actually gonna be really real. Oh, there's a little flamey spot there, too. open area, and then this just says empty, so. Uh, I'm gonna be very, really real with you guys. Um, I didn't expect to take this long. And we're obviously still, you know, getting the group back together. But it's wicked. Yes, yes. Um, we're already at almost four hours. Keepers. So, whoa, sorry. So I actually might, I'm gonna tear this. Whoa, I didn't mean for that to happen. I might actually save this for another day where we could play more and then I'll oh, talk about all the boys after that. Hold on, I just want to see these little... <laughs> ah, he's just a dude. Rap. He's not even like a cute guy, but he's just got a... Shroom! Ah, adorable. I'm able to make it, but tomorrow. Well, I I don't plan on tomorrow because I already released my schedule, so it's not it's not super possible. What are these different? No, they're the same. Oh, and there's another tombstone. No, okay. Eh? Nope. Sorry, let me save. Yeah. Okay. Um. So tomorrow, I believe, is Sonic Frontiers, and I would like to try that if that falls apart again, because my computer just has a rough time. Um, we might come back to this. But so far, this is really fun, and I do like that I get a chance to to express my love for Hello Star Zian. See, what do you guys say? Leaving off on three cliffhangers on one game. <laughs> right, schedule is this. Very true. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. But for now, I think we're going to leave it. Um, trying to think. I should have like planned out what I was going to say more. But hopefully I can adjust some things for next time. Um, if you would like, if you can't wait, you're like, oh, I got to know what happens now. Um, the link is in the description. Please go check out 
Yeah, check out uh, their Itch.io, where you can download this game. Check out their Twitter of Tactical Elysium uh, to keep up to date with any updates and also some behind the scenes stuff. It has been a great game. It has been. Honestly, this is really nice and it's very cute. And I really want to eventually see everybody's critical hits and lines. A lot of love for this. So much. But, um, so definitely give them some love, even if you go look at their tweets and like it and retweet it. I think that would be really wonderful. Um, they definitely deserve, you know, a lot of attention and praise for all this hard work that they've put in. All the, the whole team. So, in some way, if you could, please, please support them. <laughs> Um, please support the Hollow Stars EN boys. Uh, this was a taste of them. They are much better. Well, they're, e they're, they're even better in person, I should say. And I guess person is under heavy quotations. <laughs> but so please, please go support them. Um, I love them all very much, very dearly. And they are such hard workers and such good men that they, they really do deserve just the world. So, go ahead and give them a check. Um, I might, next playthrough, put their channel links in the description so that it is an easy hop, skip away to them. Um, if you had a fun time with me, go ahead and drop a subscribe. Or follow me on Twitter. Or you can follow me on Twitch, where I tend to stream most of my games. We are trying to make a slow move over to YouTube. But I am not monetized on YouTube. So if you'd like to support me, uh, any of your help over on Twitch is great. There is also a link to my tip jar if you have any spare change. Which also helps me out a great deal and helps me buy new games to play with you guys. Um, other than that, I just want you to have a great day. And thank you so much for coming and joining me while we played this. And letting me talk about something I'm very passionately about. Which is, you know, VTubing but also... Uh, my, currently my my very favorite group, uh, Hollow Stars English. Um, I guess that's it, mostly. I'll put up Lost Phantom posters and look up Crystal Cures. Please do. I can't bear to lose Magni a second time. You have to understand, when they graduated, I was already having a really bad time <laughs> in life. And that really fucked me up pretty good. <laughs> I was very upset about it. I am glad to know that they're doing okay. You know. Like, they're... They're out there in the world. We just don't get to... We don't get to play with them anymore. But they're okay. And that's the important part. I drink water and the shrimp. I will eat the shrimp. I'm gonna read the last of these messages. And then I gotta go... Right forward to press the subscribe button twice. Well, then you would unsubscribe. Please don't do that. Please stay here forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Enough money? I spent it all. You sure did! But, you know, and you being here... Like, even if you're only here for a little while, it helps me so, 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 so much. So I appreciate it. You don't even have to chat. But you did. And so that's, like, extra bonus help. So really fun time, Yobi. That's me. Have a good day and night. Ooh, choo choo woo. Yes. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm getting out of here. You're getting out of here. We're all getting out of here. Have a great night, everybody. Or day, or afternoon, or early morning. And if anyone's watching the VOD, I love you. <laughs> okay. See you later, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. I said bye bye. Get out of here. Go touch grass! Go live your life! Go support Hollow Star at the end! Go support Tactical Elysium! I love you! <laughs> no, my shrimps! Don't eat my shrimps! Stop it! Okay, go! It's over! Okay, stream's gone! It's